in the sky, gazing far into the night. I raise my hand to the fire, but it's no use, cause you can't stop it from shining through. It's true, baby, let the light shine through. If you believe it's true, baby, won't you let the light To the night, I raise my hand to the fire, but it's no use, cause you can't stop it from shining through, it's true, baby let the light shine through, if you believe it's true, baby won't you let the light Good evening, everybody, and welcome to the latest Elite FBL podcast, where, of course, tonight it's the Predictor game. It is, of course, the time of the week where myself, Jason, and a special guest caller will be predicting the games for this particular game week. Of course, it's game week 21. It's New Year's Day, and I have a special announcement to make after uh, the show. And then, of course... It's the start of the Champions League. Uh, Daily Llama's brainchild, the Elite FPL Champions League, starts tomorrow, game week 21. Of course, as ever, I'm joined by Jason. Jason, good evening. Hi, hello, hello there. Good evening. Um, good evening, everybody in chat. Thank you for being here with us on this New Year's Eve. I know you guys are very busy. You've got your families, you've got your friends that you could be with right now, but you decided to be with us. And um, I like to think that we're your friends too. Uh, and um, our FPL friends, even though we're rivals. 
Um, hello to Julius Amusu Do in chat. I, I apologize if I got your name completely wrong. Bilal's in chat too. Um, FPL Penguins in chat, also known as Fark. Fark. <laughs> um, we got um, the Don. We've got Vince Chapman. We've got Dre Zera in chat there. We've got Zayn Hussein, um, Anish Thakar. Uh, we've got Mr. Anderson, Darren Walsh, Daniel Amer. Uh, we've got uh, Yassine Kloosh in chat. Uh, Daily Lama is in chat too. Uh, friends. Um, FPL friends. Um, Happy New Year's to you too, MSK and Francis Logan. Um, Happy New Year to a lot of people actually that have been watching our show. They've actually already brought in the New Year um from over mm -hmm. in the east of the world and um watching from a hotel with a missus she's confused why i'm watching says fpl booner well um i hope you're watching with earphones because she ain't gonna have a clue what we're going to be talking about um elite fpl is her first priority says zimmy in chat hello cameron Raw rawcliffe hello uncle juicy tv hello jonathan rolf um, all of you guys, it's uh, again a massive privilege to have you with us this evening as we preview game week 21 and look at the score predictions. I just want to make a couple of mentions um, about some uh, basically, let me bring it up on the screen very quickly. We've had some winners on Tap Tap Sports and I just wanted to share with those. So just give me a second. Hopefully, this is going to work. Any other than me. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, so yeah, we've got um, David, uh, a Birmingham City fan, who won a hundred uh, pounds on the monthly bonus ball with Elite FPL uh, with the best December stats. So, um, oh, no, no, that was the best December stats in the overall game. So well done to David if you watch us. Um, and for the Elite FPL uh, winner, uh, we've got um, we've got Jake. I think they're both. No, they are both the Elite FPL ones for this is for December too. Congratulations to Jake, a Chelsea fan, and that's a picture of Jake there. Um, winning £100 in the December monthly bonus ball with the best stats. There we go well to, to him too. Well done to both of you guys. And um, long may your luck continue into the into the new year. And Steve-O, um, you uh, you looking forward to this game week? Yes. You're ahead, you're ahead of me now? I'm, uh, I am. Yeah, let me just address something. Let's just, let's just start with that, actually. Uh, let me just clarify something. Just to everybody that seems to think that I care about going ahead of Jason, I really, do. I think <laughs> more people on this podcast care more about me or you ahead of one another than I, think, I actually do. I, I, I don't know, Steve. I don't know. I think you do care. I think you care, but you're just a little bit. No, under underneath, coy about it. Underneath, I'm like, oh, it's, yeah, I've gone ahead of Jason. Oh, that's that's nice, but I'm not. Like, I've seen oh, you're some having a terrible saying, season. You're having a terrible season. I'm having, oh, a I'm having a terrible Wolf? season. You're having a terrible season. I'm having a terrible season for completely different reasons that, than you're having a terrible season. But that, but basically, we're both having a, a diabolical season. And let's face it, we're faced every week with freaks of nature, as you call it, coming to us in our uh, into our chat, <laughs> who want to kind of, uh, you know, just basically rub our noses in it. So well done to you guys, and uh, I hope that we can close a bit of the gap up um, over the um, the coming weeks. Obviously, we've got just under half a season left, and um, mm -hmm. I I personally think that I am going to change my play style up. Um, I'm not going to be taking hits. I'm gonna I'm not going to be listening to other people as much, and I'm certainly not going to be overthinking things and spending uh, more hours debating with myself what I should or shouldn't be doing. Um, In fact, yeah. can I just, again, can I just quickly address something else? I saw somebody on your stream kind of giving me an attack by saying that I live and breathe fantasy football. I'm like, actually, I barely even look at the game, to be honest with you. The only time I actually focus on this is during this podcast. And that's the absolute truth. Yes, obviously in my spare time i do go on the website and occasionally look at the transfers and look at like you know price uh, rises and that stuff the following day but truly i spend more time uh, you know watching the bill and going to the gym than i actually spend on this game at the end of the day this is just a game that i play and it really has no bearing on my life whatsoever you know it's just this specific mm -hmm. moment yeah. that i'm doing right now so for people that proclaim that this is i live and breathe this <laughs> trust me i don't i um, really, well, really don't 
whether or not you do or not, it's uh, you know, at the end of the day, we, we all love fantasy football. Uh, we wouldn't be here if we didn't. And uh, we're here to preview game week 21. There's some interesting fixtures in this game week. Um, we've got some team news um, over the last 12 hours or so. We've been told about um, certain players. Well, the main one for me is Paul Pogba. Um, Go on. He's not travelled. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so funny! I love really? what he's done. I've already done a minus eight. What? I've already done a minus eight, and I've still got Paul Pogba in. Oh, whoa, 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 I'm having days off you. You've already done a minus eight. Yeah, despite you've just said that you're not taking hits anymore. Literally thought that I would be <laughs> clever. <laughs> <laughs> God, shall we do um, Jason? Shall we do? Shall we just stop this stream and I'll go upstairs and do a. A stream reacting <laughs> no, to your. I, I, mate, I'm. I'm sorry. I have to. It's a bit of a prank. Sorry. I. I, I'm, I haven't really. Um. Oh, I just wanted. I just, I just love your reaction. Sorry. Sorry. Uh. I just wanted to see your reaction <laughs> because it's always always great to hear a Steve a Steve reaction to my um misfortune. Um. But no, I I'm gonna do just one transfer. Obviously, Paul Pogba is you know too unreliable. I thought. I was smart getting him in. It turned out that I wasn't. I should have listened to ninety percent of the chat. And um... oh come on! I mean, when you were talking on the your game week disaster stream, uh, what I loved about it is because, like I said, you talk very passionately about Man United and stuff. Yeah. And let's be honest here, poor Pogba is somebody that you'd like to think would be playing for you on a regular basis when not injured. So. Let us know. I, I let, think, let me I know now. Is, I think this, this is an, this is an indication that this is not fitness. This is an indication that something else is going on. Yeah. A lot of people are talking about him leaving in January. I um I I think that this um is a sign that he's not part of the um the plan going forward. I really do. Unless unless Ollie comes out and says he's I know pulled pulled a muscle or something in training um i think this is really bad news for well for my night fans because i think that um paul pogba at his best is he you know you can't it's, it's unplayable you can't play against him he's he's a machine when he's at top form but he hasn't been at top form for so long and he's almost down tools well there's no there's no almost about it he has literally down tools um and there's obviously an issue behind the scenes and I just hope it gets sorted. Yeah. Uh, yeah, absolutely. And, <laughs> and uh, of course, uh, I've completely lost my, my brain now. So uh, shall we just get on with the predictor game? But more importantly, we have not only one special guest, Jason, but I've just seen that we've got two special guests in the waiting room that I'd like to do the predictions with together like we did a couple of weeks ago. Is that all right? No, it's not all right. I have one. No. <laughs> Go and bring him in. Yeah, let's start with let's start with Davy FPL. Davy FPL, he tweeted yeah. me a few minutes ago and he just said, "Have you got anybody coming on?" And I said, "Nope." Do you want to come on? And he said, "Yeah, why not?" So, funny enough, Davy FPL is my rival when it comes to the Super Brew League. So, do you want to bring him in, Jason? Yeah, by all means. Good. Good evening, Davy. How are you doing? He just needs to unmute his mic. Here he is. Good evening, gentlemen. Oh, that's loud. Yeah. Uh, hang on, look, talk oh. now. Talk now. Hello. I can barely hear him. <laughs> I don't know, I think your microphone may be on the way out, mate. Is it that bad? Get get T some turn, super chat. Turn your chats, microphone <laughs> down a little bit. Turn your microphone down a bit, Davy. It's it's a very it's very um it's it's painful. <laughs> it's uh Can't you can't you just turn my user volume down I, on Discord? I have. It, uh, let me just do it again. Davy, try again. Hello? Yeah, that's not working. Yeah, it, okay. Let me, let me restart. I'll restart this. Yeah, call. yeah. Just, just. Um, I think it's just a interference issue with your microphone. Um, but let's bring in, let's bring in JK as well. Okay. Uh, Davy, I hope, hopefully he can, uh, he can get that sorted and bring it in. Um, good evening, JK. Good evening. How are you? Oh, I'm good. Happy New Year from Malaysia. Oh, happy new year. Happy 2020. Yeah, happy 2020. I hope, oh, it's, um, thank you for being here this evening with us and hopefully we can get Davey uh, to come back on. Yeah, thanks for having me on. 
Yeah, I was hearing his speakers. Oh, it's so bad. It sounded like so it's, feedback, it's, interfe- yeah. it's interference, I think. Static or interference yeah. or something on his... Uh, it's um just make him go listen to himself it's yeah it's just it's just I, i've heard that plenty of times it's just um it's just an interference on his microphone he just um needs to sort out anyway J- carry on J- jk where, where are you now ranked in the world because obviously you were something like four thousand the last time we spoke uh i'm 2500 now oh brilliant well done congratulations uh, i've got to say that is um really 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 um, a superb job considering there's a lot of people that are highly ranked which are uh, ironically dropping down because uh, well because they're not choosing the right differentials uh, Davey you're back with us can you speak again hello perfect Whatever you I don't did. know what that I literally came from another discord channel and it was fine and then suddenly uh, but it's fine I've it, restarted you it's sound open. you sound beautiful Davey welcome okay uh, hello um, hello uh, gents Yes, hello. So you're an hour, I think you're an hour ahead of us, aren't you? Is it 10? I'm, a, I'm two hours, two hours oh, ahead. Oh, 10 to 8 where you are then. Yeah. Yes. Wow, so, yeah, so you'll be bringing in the new year slightly earlier than us. So you all, all uh, planned and set up for the new year. And um, will you be having a late one tonight, Davey? I don't know. We'll have to, we'll have to see how the stream goes. <laughs> <laughs> no. I, will, I think it'll be, it'll be a good New Year's. It's going to be at the Cape, right? I no no I stay uh, in uh, Pretoria so that's that's like uh, more inland. Oh yeah 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 yeah. I, and I, then I, but I, I'm going I'm going to Cape Town end of Jan for holiday. I was at the waterfront Th- this time last year. I was at the waterfront yes. waterfront in Cape Town. Yes, very nice, very nice place. There. And nice, and I tell you nice now, it was the most craziest place. Like we stayed in a hotel right um, in Cape Town. We left the waterfront. And there was people in the streets letting off fireworks, man. It was like, it was crazy. What? Are you, sh- are you sure those weren't gunshots? <laughs> <laughs> well, well, welcome couldn't... to South Africa. <laughs> it was brilliant, though. It was a great, it was a no, great, no. great experience. No, Cape, Town, Cape Town's very nice. It's quite festive and everything. Yeah, it's, it's a beautiful, beautiful place. Um, recommend anyone that hasn't visited to go and visit. Um, but uh, yes, yeah, so... We are here to do the predictions for game week 21. Uh, uh, David, can you remind us all how well you're doing? You're doing quite well as well, aren't you? I think, yeah. Well, I don't know if it's that, like, well, you know, it's all relative. To me, you're doing amazing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, no, but I mean, it's, it's what, what do they say? It's a marathon, not a sprint. It, so it we'll is. we'll talk at the end of the season. Yeah, yeah, we'll review uh, it back. I mean, it's even yeah. it's even more spectacular when you can re- recover from a, a position like mine. Um, well, exactly, yeah. And then you can brag on Twitter <laughs> to everyone. I meant it all along. I meant it all along. The first, yes, half, exactly. the first half of the se- season, it was all about taking hits and getting myself in a pickle. Second well, half of the season well, is when I take it seriously, and that's when we, well, we bring that's it back. Well, that's the thing, is that at the end of the season, you can be like, imagine me giving you an 800k <laughs> overall rank head start and i still <laughs> beat you and that, imagine that would be quite entertaining um harbor, <laughs> harbor boys in chat for he's over in australia saying it's 7 a.m on the 1st of january here new new year um morning has dawned already for harbor boy um happy new year and hope you have a beautiful lovely day um and i'm sure the temperatures are going to be strike well really hot <laughs> where you yeah. are right now uh, so stay safe. Um, what's everyone's rank? I'm 39k FPL Penguin. Oh, we, we don't need to talk about that. Um, but yes, yeah, Steve, mm. do you want to do you want to bring us into the game week then? Yeah, absolutely. So it, I've kind of changed up the predictor a bit. Uh, we're still continuing with the same point scoring. So you get one point for the correct outcome, two points for close enough, or three points for bang on. But instead of doing the history, because obviously everybody's played each other now, so you can't really repeat the history so what i've done and this is kind of a bit of a tester um is to is to see based on the team's home form and the team that they're playing against away form and then come up with an aggregate score and then when it comes to the captain popular captain picks i've gone with their last six fixtures and i've just gone and basically said who's who's most informed essentially so that's going to be something of interest from my point of view to see if um that works out like the history did but yeah we'll, we'll kick it off and uh, like i say my rival a genuine rival is in fact before we start davy where, where are you in super brew now 
Uh, yo, let me check. Uh, do you want South Africa or, or overall? Uh, oh, overall. Um, I'm just inside 5k. God, might. That's, that's not. That's I'm, not, that's I'm, not that, I'm, I don't think it's that great. Well, you say that. I think it's what of eighty thousand people, isn't it, or something? Yes, eighty-two thousand people. Yeah, I'm I'm eleven thousand at the moment, okay, so and I am yeah, slowly it's... climbing. And when it comes to our predictor game, Jason, the Elite FPL one, I've moved up to seventh. But unfortunately, Lino is just he's like twenty-five points ahead of me. Let, me, let me just bring that up on the screen because yeah, Lino's, Lino. Lino's been in touch with me, and Lino will be getting a oh really uh, Elite FPL shirt. In in in, in a, literally probably the upcoming week. So, congratulations to Lino. Let me just bring this up yeah, on the brilliant. screen. Yeah. So as so I, Lino's been doing really well. He's um, th this Christian as well. I mean, it's the similar names I keep seeing. Alex Todorov, mm. uh, Christian Lino. These guys, they should be. Wow, they just they're really good at predictions. They really really are. And uh, well done to you. And you've done, because on yeah you know, you've on done the really website, well. On the website, it's it's only it's a, it's done as one point for outcome, but three points for correct for score, correct. isn't it? Yes, it is. Which is yeah. crazy when you look at it like that. So, anyway, uh, if I remind everybody what happened the last time we did the predictor game, which was in game week nineteen, and uh, it was Juggernauts that came out on top of that with nine yeah. points. Uh, bizarrely, myself, you, history, and FPL Hot Sauce got seven points. Uh, very strange indeed, but um, of course. Juggernauts was the one that was famous that predicted uh, Bournemouth Arsenal to draw 1-1. He expected Man United to win 4-0, Leicester to lose uh, 4-0. Uh, yeah, Leicester to lose 4-0. He expected a 3-2 victory in the Wolves game, but he predicted Man City, though. As Juggernauts, once again, uh, an absolute... Uh, ridiculous um, predictions there but we move on to game week 21 it'd be fascinating to hear what Davey and JK think of these particular games but we kick off with Brighton versus Chelsea and like last time out I've gone with a lot of similar results and I think Jason <laughs> Chelsea are just going to edge this 2-1 <laughs> <laughs> you were going to say 2-1 well that's uh, not a well that, that's a pretty Obvious scoreline, I think, uh, but I'm actually going to go with Brighton not scoring. I'm going to go with a Chelsea clean sheet. Uh, I do think Chelsea will win, much like you, with a one one goal. Well, actually, I'm going to go two nil away to Chelsea. Davy, can we uh, can we say the same scores as a other yeah, 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 host? Yeah, yeah, absolutely, yeah. So, uh, Steve, I guess what I'm going to say: <laughs> two one, <laughs> two two one to Chelsea. <laughs> I just I, I just see Brighton scoring in this one. I don't know. FPL uh, Little Saints that... is saying the same 2-1. Mm. JK, uh, you're somebody that's doing extremely well this season. Do you um, think about predictions that you do or, or not at all? Uh, not really. But uh, of course, I do predict a bit, but not really. I haven't played the predictor game this year because... I had some problems registering or something. Oh, what well, a shame. That is, that is a shame. But what, well, going on this particular one, what, what are your thoughts on this particular game, Brighton versus Chelsea? Oh, I'm going to go a bit different from all of you. I'm going to go 1-1. One, one. Why did you say 1-1? One, one? Chelsea are on form. They're away. Yeah. I think a lot of this, these players are going to be worried about getting transferred, you know, getting replacements. In. Chelsea are going to get a lot of replacements. A lot of them are going to be a bit worried about that. It's one one. Oh, well, the, the 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 form is suggesting three one to Chelsea. Uh, that's based on home form, away form, and the last uh, what do you call it? Six fixtures. No, the last three fixtures. Uh, my apologies. Uh, now we're moving on to Burnley versus Aston Villa, and as I always keep saying, we never lose to anybody below twelfth, and that's why I'm going to go with. Aston Villa to lose this 2-0, Jason. Yeah, I can see Burnley pulling off a result in this fixture. Um, I think that... Um, can I see him scoring two goals like you've suggested? Um, I can. Um, but I think that... What's the chances of Villa getting... Just nicking a goal. I'm going to go with 2-1 to Burnley in this one. <laughs> Now, of course, Davey, you, you said in your video that you put up today that you think that uh, Grealish will have a bit of fun. Um, we're not very good against technical players, so are you expecting a Burnley loss? 
No, because Aston Villa are pretty bad. So I've <laughs> gone I've gone one one. One one. Oh one one. Yeah. It just it all literally depends. You'll know what Burnley side pitches up. Because they can either be absolutely demolish weaker sides or they can be on this like runoff form that they've been on where they struggle just a little bit sometimes. Um so that's why that's why I'm going for a one one. Uh, JK, your thoughts on this game? Uh, I'm going for 1 0 to Villa. 1 0 to Villa, a team that can't yeah. keep clean sheets. <laughs> I don't know, man. I, I haven't seen much of, of Burnley. You know, I, don't, I haven't seen much of them going forward recently, so that's why I'm basing it on. Well, this is definitely a spread of results there from all of us. Um, this is a this is a good selection that yeah, you've got here today. Yeah, we got. Um, well, I just want to say very quickly: you've got FPL Little Saints saying two 0 Burnley, nil nil says Drezera, two one to Villa says Harbour Boy, two two the Don, Cathal Duggan says one all, it's Raw says one nil to uh, the home team Burnley, uh, Julius FC says two nil Burnley, one all Brighton Villa says Darren Walsh. So there's there is a spread of predictions. Um, as well on in the chat so um so yeah move on what's, yeah, this, yeah. what's, what's well, the, the history say on this one or well the, well, the form is going with 2-0 to Burnley uh essentially Aston Villa just cannot win a game they just predominantly lose away from home they can barely score away from home and they always concede uh, I know there's not a specific exact science but <laughs> just trust me on this it's all <laughs> daily llama it's all written down <laughs> So, moving on to, um, uh, well, the first popular captaincy pick match. It's, of course, Newcastle versus Leicester. Again, I think this is going to be a very tight game, Jason, but I do think that Leicester are going to pull through this, and I'm going 2-1 to Leicester. Yeah, the best captaincy pick for me uh, this week is Jamie Vardy after having it. um, Is it a son or a daughter? I I don't know. Um, It's a daughter. It's a daughter, and um, also, you know, you... Like uh, my friend said, um, he's bound to have a shirt underneath his uh, his, <laughs> you know, his uh, shirt to to basically celebrate that fact. And I think he's going to be raring to go and score. And I can see Newcastle uh, being breached two or three. I'm going to go with a 3-0 win to Leicester. Wow, Davey. I've gone a 2-0 to, Newca- oh, 2-0 to Leicester. I think if Newcastle had... Um, full strength squad they've got their their wingers are injured I I believe so I think that then they would have scored but I think because of all the injuries I don't think Leicester will concede in this one I I hope not having science you and my team Uh, JK I've got with 3 0 Leicester a lot of people Jason is winning chat is saying quite a high scoring game aren't they yeah well a lot of them own Jamie Vardy yeah, uh, but I, I think a lot of them are going to be captain in Jamie Vardy. Two uh, one, Mohammed says two um, one to to Leicester Vardy penalty four nil Leicester Vardy hat trick baby celebration incoming says Bilal three uh, one Leicester's it's raw three nil Vardy says FPL Little Saints one nil Leicester says David Lister one all one all says Plavik and the Don uh, Anisha is also saying one all um, he's saying it a lot of times um, one Rivers log saying two nil Leicester and uh, an interesting one here from Dre Zera eight nil to Newcastle no sorry no I apologise eight nil to Leicester, sorry. Well, let, let's Crazy. hope that's the case. The, the, the form doesn't suggest well. that. It's, it's suggesting <laughs> a, a, a tight game. It's going 2-1 to Leicester. Uh, Vardy's uh, last six fixtures, uh, five starts, four goals, one assist. And the last time he played Newcastle, he got two goals. Uh, now, on to what I'm going to assume is going to be still Davy FBL's uh, g- game where he owns a captain, which is going to be Harry Kane. It's Southampton versus Spurs. Once again, I'm going with a, a tight game here, and I'm saying 2-1, Jason, to Spurs. Um, I, I'm going to go with a shock. I'm going to go the opposite way. I can see Ings. I can see Ings scoring a brace in this game. I really, Mourinho out then? <laughs> I really, really... I'm sorry, Boona. I'm sorry, Um all of you guys uh, brew i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry i do think that southampton gonna win this and i don't have ings in my team and i really wish i do uh, and i've got aurier <laughs> great uh 2-1 southampton 
uh, Davey, Jason isn't confident. Of course, uh, he's predicting a goal for Tottenham, which could mean Harry Kane. But how are you feeling about yeah. this particular fixture? Well, I'd, I think by the deadline tomorrow, my captaincy might have changed. So it's it's oh. kind of my predictions based on, you know, how sometimes if we own their players like the eight nor Leicester, we generally sway a little bit of bias towards it. So I've gone a 3-1 Spurs. But I, I, I can agree with, with Jason saying that they're going to lose because I've had to put myself through two Spurs fixtures. Mm. And I don't know how Buna does it because they have been absolutely like dreadful. They have been. Um, they've been very lucky as well. They've been ex- exactly. Um, so last game week, I could kind of put that luck off because Rashford captain, as it also was like last minute, Abraham was quite late on. So I was like, okay, maybe... Maybe Harry Kane wasn't that lucky, but uh, yeah, I don't know. I just kind of hope that Spurs do well, but I can I can definitely see a result for Southampton, who have been on, on a little bit of, of a better run recently. The thing is, it's like me owning Aguero, you owning Kane. On the sheet, on on the bit of paper in front of you, or the, on the screen in front of you, you think these names, Aguero, Kane, that they're able to score goals, they're able to get crazy scores. For me, it's the worry and the uncertainty and of, of will Aguero get the 60 minutes plus. For you, it's the worry of where will Harry Kane actually be in the penalty area. Um, yes, exactly. So it's, he, it's like... I, like the, the amount of times I watch them, especially versus Norwich, where I'm watching Norwich attack and for some reason, Harry Kane's by his own box making a tackle. Yeah. And then we have Lucas Moura and Deli Ali sitting back waiting for the counter-attack. So... He's one of those frustrating players to own because on his day, it's almost a guaranteed hat-trick, but you just have to kind of predict when that's going to be. Exactly that, exactly that. Um, the guys in chat, what are they saying? Um, got Ings all day long, says Darren Walsh. 4-2, Spurs, Ali Kane with two um, each, I would imagine. Um, without Son, um, people saying, obviously Son not there as well. Um Arsenal better than Spurs. Don't get it all. <laughs> is that oh, Dan and Chad? <laughs> Ings is better than Kane. Vince, come on. Um, whereabouts are we on this? Uh, who, who's who, where are we at? Sorry, I've, I've lost my train of thought, Steve. Have we done the history? Or are we waiting for it's, 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 it's JK? JK, JK that's JK. Yes. JK, what is your thoughts on this game? Yeah, I'm agreeing with Jason. Two one Southampton. Flame it now. I, I hope that happens. What makes you confident yeah, in that perfect. then? Yeah, it'll be perfect start to the new year, you know, as an Arsenal fan, seeing Potter then bottle it again. <laughs> well, the, the the form doesn't suggest this. It's going uh, 2-1 to uh, Spurs. Uh, then we move on to Watford versus Wolves. And remember at the start of the season when Wolves were just drawing 1-1? Well, that's what I'm going with. I think it's just going to go 1-1, Jason. It is. Um, a few people in chat saying, do I sell this player for Ings? Do I sell this player for Ings? One of those players being Tammy Abraham, the other one of them being Marcus Rashford. Um, certainly, you, they're completely different price points. Um, so if you're going to sell the likes of Marcus Rashford before playing away at Arsenal, which in my opinion is ridiculous, um, to bring in Danny Ings, I, I think that I think that you best hold on to Rashford and also uh, for Tammy Abraham. I think um, both, both have the... It's, it's for me you, you, you're doing those transfers to save money but what are you going to do with that money are you going to use it for a hit or whatever but um, personally I would keep Rashford in for that fixture against Arsenal um, he's, he's essential to my United um, <laughs> and in terms of Tammy Abraham he's the talisman for Chelsea okay he only got the one return last week he's not been really in form um, but that can change um, I've gone with the tuna winter Brighton so yeah I, I mean guys Davey um the thoughts on people taking out the likes of Tammy Abraham and Rashford for the, for for Ings. I know Ings is has been in form, but you think that is that going to continue? Um, I've certainly suggested it will for this game week. But yeah, we're well, talking to someone who took him out game week eighteen, and he's scored every single game week since then. <laughs> so that's been a little bit of a tough pull to swallow. The main reason I transferred him out on the wild card was. I just looked at this run of, of about six fixtures and I was like, I don't think Ings is going to keep it up. He has, so I don't think we can be betting against him. But I do agree with you on Rashford especially. He plays Arsenal away, dismal defense, and then he plays Norwich. Who I know Norwich recently have been better, but 
you got to be backing United to get a result against them. Yeah. And I'd also agree with you with Chelsea. I mean, they're having this bounce after a nice comeback win against Arsenal. Yeah. Spirit should be high. He should be playing. I think they'll they'll rest him in the FA Cup. So I think that he'll be playing. So I don't think this is the exact game week maybe to do the Ings transfer. I think that you still have good options uh, on, on your starting 11. Yeah, yeah. We've got some polarizing views in chat, which is great, which is actually what I like to see. We've got people on the Ings camp. We've got people on the, you know, the the other player camp. And, and obviously, we look basically, we're looking at the fixtures for Ings and people are put off. I think if you own Ings now, keep him. But if you don't, yeah. don't bring him in. That's essentially what it is right now. Hey, Firetog. Um, I want to say thank you for all your hard work and helping Daily Llama in the uh, in, in the actual uh, Champions League spreadsheets. It's much appreciated. I know you've um, you've worked wonders in the formula side of things. I've got no idea how they work. But anyway, let's move on to the Watford Wolves game. Um, Stevo. Yeah, I said one one. It's one, just down to one. you then. Sorry, yeah. sorry. I do apologise. One one. That's a that's a decent score prediction. Uh, so you think both teams will pr- pr- uh, concede and the Wolves? And the run of form for Wolves, obviously Watford's actually on the up now as well, on the ascendancy. It's going to be a tough game, I do agree. I think Wolves aren't going to go there and, and um, get a hat of goal. So people bringing in like Adama Traore, can't say his name. And um, people who've got Jimenez still um, will be happy in that fixture, I'd imagine. I'm, I'm going to go with the... I'm going to go with... This is a tough one for me. This is a really tough one for me. Um, sorry. Come I'm on, sorry. I'm Jason. Sorry. sorry, guys. This is a really tough one. Um, Flip the coin. Flip the coin. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's going to be 2-1, but I don't know who to. I'm going to go 2-1 to Watford as being the home Ooh. team. Uh, D- Davey, are you going to spend half an hour on predicting this pointless game? <laughs> Wait. I've got two hours. I've got two hours ahead of you guys, so I have two hours to to discuss these things with myself. <laughs> but I'm going with a two-one to Wolves, Oy. just because I think Wolves had that advantage. I know the Liverpool Wolves game was an absolute disaster, but the thing about Wolves is they got to rest some of their key players, which I think will be uh, just the difference in this one. So I went two-one uh, to Wolves. Uh, J.K. I'm going one 0 to Wolves. Troy Deeney can't do it. Can't build Watford out every week. You know, tr- Wolves had J- Jimenez rested. I think they'll do the business. Wow. So people in chat, the Don saying two 0 to Wolves. One Rovers vlogs two one to Wolves. In fact, everyone's saying Wolves are going to win this three nil. Says Anarag in chat. Adama Brace says a Julius FC in chat. Um, at me when it happens, he says. Um, hello, Davy P. Welcome, welcome. Happy New Year, my friend. Um, I mean, 2-1, Cameron Walcliffe saying, as I would presume to, to Watford, the only person that's backing me up here. Um, I, yeah, it's interesting. Um, most people going with a Wolves win. Uh, yeah, the, the, the form is suggesting 1-1. One, one. Uh, now, moving on to Man City versus Everton. And again, another captaincy option in this particular game with Kevin De Bruyne. And uh, this Aguero. could be... Or Aguero, yes. <laughs> uh, but from a popular captaincy point of view, <laughs> De Bruyne. And uh, I, I think Man City, again, I think they're just going to edge, edge this um, a bit like they did against whoever they played last. And I've completely forgotten who it was. But uh, I'm going 2-0 to Man City. They... I think this... I've got a feeling that this is going to be bad news for anyone that brought in... Sidibe, Holgate. I see Man City scoring three or four goals in this game. Um, and with news that Laporte's coming back very soon. Um, February, apparently. Wow. Yeah. It, I think I think City will dominate this game. Pos- Possession-wise, I think Everton will look to break. I think City will concede. I'm going to go with a 4-2. 4-2? Yeah. Wow. High scoring game. <laughs> Davy. <laughs> oh, I almost went with a 4 2, but I went with a 2 0 no, to Max. Like Steve will go like 4 2. What, what did you say? <laughs> Sorry. 2 uh, 0 to City. 2 0. Yeah. Uh, Jay- I do think that I think they'll be, they'll be better um, than Everton. So that's what my prediction is. 
Yeah, I think I think it will be. I think it will be tight. And uh, who were Man City playing last time? Genuinely, I've completely forgotten. Uh, so, Sheffield yeah. United. Sheffield. United. Ah, that's right. Yeah, they won two yeah. Nil. That's right, and that's. I think the game's going to go a bit like that. To be honest with you, uh, Everton seem to have tightened up, albeit of course they concede when I bring in Holgate to start. But whatever, <laughs> uh, Jake, Jk. Um, I reckon it's three nil, three nil Man City. Uh, they got John Stones coming back from injury. David Silva is back in training. Aguero is back. I think they're going to smash this one. The uh, the likes of people bringing in Calvert Lewin, Richarlison. Uh, defenders from Everton do you think they're a little bit premature on those moves I mean I have Richarlison myself no no <laughs> um, and I don't back them against, I don't back him against you're benching him are you <laughs> yeah but the thing with Richarlison is he's a troll so when you think he doesn't he's not gonna score he will so, yeah, just, so, so, just, so like my theory this. is just bet on him not scoring and he will brilliant I like it I like the theory Ca- just... captain him JK yeah, maybe I'll do that. No, 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 but if I can't, then he'll troll me, so... What's your thoughts, guys? What's your thoughts on Aguero in this game? Obviously, he played 87 minutes um, at the weekend. Um, they face Everton this Wednesday. Um, it's a later get kickoff. It's half past five kickoff. What's your thoughts on Aguero starting again, or do you think he could be on the bench? Uh, anyone, no, anyone, is, anyone to... Is Jesus even fit? I think he came on he came on quite late against Sheffield ah, United I, I reckon he'll play maybe 60 70 minutes something like that mm. I don't it because that's the thing with Pep is logically I would think that Aguero starts because then he plays Jesus in the FA Cup but mm. Pep Guardiola doesn't do logic so yeah. No, he doesn't. He could bench <laughs> both true. of them and play he could John play, Stones. He could play both. He could play. He could, he could even yeah, do, exactly. some, do some really crazy. Um, yeah. Bench Bernardo yeah, Silva we... or bench Sterling or something. God, and that would be great for me. Um, but but no, what, people saying that Kevin De Bruyne may be rested. Maybe even David Silva back, but... But this, it's all ifs and buts, isn't it? It's, it's a yes, de- exactly. De- deja vu from last year with Man City. You literally... Yeah, but... You roll the dice. The only annoying thing about the Man City options is uh, for like Liverpool options, if Mane is rested, he won't come on. But with Aguero, if he's rested, he probably will. So it mm. gives you that like that tough decision whether to take the risk on the captaincy or not or something yeah. like that. Yeah, it's one, hell of a, it's one hell of a differential this week. Um, but yeah, interesting. So what's the, um, what's the history say on this game? Uh, it's, it's it's saying three 0 comfortable victory for Man City. The uh, the home record for Man City is is frightening, and Everton's away record is uh, is is pretty bad. Uh, just saying hello to Matt Brunton. He's just uh, stopping by for a few minutes uh, just before he goes to work. Uh, moving on to what I think will be again. Here we go, another tight fixture. But I think Crystal Palace's form. Uh, Crystal Palace's quality will shine through. Oh, and just to let people know, sorry, I didn't actually say, Kevin De Bruyne's last six uh, games, he started six. He's got three goals and four assists. The last time he played Everton, he got two assists. So I think that personally, of all the options so far, uh, Kevin De Bruyne this week could be the best captaincy. Go for it, Steve. Uh, but, yes. Go on, my friend. <laughs> but going on, go with... on, Steve. Go with it. Go with your gut. Go on. Go with the, the history. Well, actually, like... uh, well, well, we'll go on to it in a minute. But my gut does not say Kevin De Bruyne whatsoever. We'll, we'll, we'll talk about that in a minute. But Norwich versus Crystal Palace. I think Crystal Palace are going to edge this, and I'm going to go two one to Crystal Palace, Jason. <sighs> two one to Crystal Palace. Mm. Really. Norwich can't defend. But they can score. They can score and I've given <laughs> them a goal, but they can't and Crystal Palace can defend. So I think it's 2-0. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I think. I was seriously thinking legitimately of bringing in Zaha for a one-off uh, game. <laughs> that would be amusing. Um, I, I, I see Pookie. I see Pookie's name on the score sheet. Um, uh, 
Gaeta is my in goal for me. So I, I, ideally, I, I would quite like a clean sheet. But I do see Puki doing something. Hopefully, Gaeta can get like another twelve saves. That'd be quite nice. Uh, penalty save or something. <laughs> um, I'm going to go with. Um, sorry for taking too long. I'm going to go with a one all. <laughs> one, uh, Davy. I also went with a one one. So, uh, Steve, if you if you and your patterns. Norwich have drawn, lost, lost, drawn, lost, lost, drawn. Oh, so that really? Means they're gonna oh. That means they're going to lose the next two. Next one's against United, so that could be plausible. Yeah. But I'm going for a little bit of, of a different pattern, and I'm going to say it's, it was going to be a 1-1. Wow. Well, uh, talking of patterns, actually, Mane of late, it's been uh, sing uh, regarding returns. It was single-digit, yes, yes. single-digit, single. It's triple, single, double, triple single and he got the double the other day so it looks like um it could be another single return versus uh liverpool but we'll get to that game in a minute uh jk your thoughts on norwich versus crystal palace i think it's norwich are gonna smash this 2-0 i two, think two nil. Norwich, yeah 2 nil. i think uh, norwich are really good against teams that sit back you know they like to dominate a wall that's exactly what they did last year in the championship and watch this space max Aarons is going to get an assist and dream team yeah, yeah uh, funny enough, the, 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 the form is suggesting 2-1 to Norwich. Um, I've just seen the Don saying that Crystal Palace is away form is terrible and he is bang on the money. Money, It is pants, bang to be honest money. with you. They, they, <laughs> yeah, they barely score a goal. Um, don't get me wrong, they rarely concede, but Norwich do like to score goals, but they also like conceding at home. Uh, now they're moving on to... Uh, newly appointed West Ham manager. It's um, David Moyes' first official game in charge um, versus Bournemouth. Bournemouth at the moment are absolutely atrocious and I think that West Ham are going to get through this and I'm going to go 2-0. And again, Fabianski, I'm only 0.1 off getting him and I'm absolutely gutted I can't bring him in without taking a hit and I'm not willing to take a hit for a goalkeeper. So... Uh, it's a bit annoying, but whatever. Uh, Jason? Bournemouth, Bournemouth, Bournemouth. What's going on? Um, that mm. is the question. Eddie Howe, what must he be saying to his players at the moment to get them fired up for this game? Um, I completely agree with you, Steve-O. I see West Ham winning this game. Um, will it be one, two goals in it? Um, I'm just going to go with a solitary 1-0 to West Ham in this game. Mm. Yeah. Davy, uh, I've gone for a little bit of a David Moyes party pooper. Yeah, I've gone for two on Bournemouth. Wow. If you're asking, both both of these teams have been playing terribly, so I just think that Bournemouth might edge this one. But uh, this one can go either way. I mean, it's uh, 16th versus 17th, so <laughs> Honestly, probably not going to be a great game. Wouldn't surprise me if it's a nil nil. <laughs> yeah, actually, it really wouldn't. JK? J um, I'm going 1 0 to West Ham. The David Moyes bounce is going to happen. You know, make sure they, 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 they stay in the Premier League. Interesting. Well, okay. West Ham's home record of, well, it's, it's absolutely awful. It just reads <laughs> L <laughs> for everything. Uh, the, the form is suggesting 2 1 to Bournemouth. Now then, on to Jason's team. Yes. It's, of course, Arsenal versus Man United. Jason, of course, being a Man United fan. and don't know what gave you that impression. I, I initially <laughs> was thinking United would win this 2-1, but there's just something about Arsenal at the moment. Yes, I know they lost to Chelsea the other day, but that was due to just some stupid defending. And I think it's just going to end as a 1-1, a, 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 a Jason. I think it's just going to cancel each other out. Um. Arsenal are basically all Arsenal are, are just basically their attack. And there's literally from the midfield back back into the defence. I don't see any any reasons for United not to score um in this game. Um I do think Abamyang is gonna do something. He's just consistent. He's um and uh, sorry to create it's crazy Jack and um the other guy I can't remember who it is who's uh who's put all their bets in with Lacazette this season and really haven't got any any luck whatsoever. Um I think United will win this. I think there'll be goals in this game. I'm gonna go with a two one victory for my United. Mm, yeah, I was very the 
very close to predicting that. Uh, David, your thoughts? Uh, I've gone for a 1-1, the same as you. Just reason being, this FPL season, every time we've thought that there's going to be a lot of goals, generally, <laughs> it's quite a low-scoring affair. Um, but I, I do think this game has massive potential, mainly for Man United. They're coming off Arsenal, should be tired after that, that strenuous game against Chelsea. Uh, United, really, relatively comfortable game in game week 20, so they can do the job here. I just, I just don't have a feeling it's going to be a draw. Uh, JK, you're someone that was famous for saying that uh, uh, he will be captaining. You pretty much have been, you have been pretty much captaining any player that's playing against Arsenal. It's been very successful for you. Are you yeah, still doing much. that tactic? And what do you think on this particular game? No, no, I think I think that's gonna steady the ship. But th- this particular game, I think it's gonna go four two. Marcus Rashford for me. Marcus four, Rashford. Two. If you got him in. I have Four, Rashford. Or, or two, two. I have Rashford. Is that, is that to United? For this game. 4 2 to United. To, to United, yeah? 4 2 Arsenal. No. Whoa. I have yeah. Rashford. Oh. I'll tell you the shit. <laughs> to tell us why. Cool. What, what, what's the, what, why such a high scoring game and what, why so high for Arsenal? Uh, it's you just, are an Arsenal I, fan, by the way. We know that. Yeah, oh, it's, it's, I, I saw a lot from the last game. Yeah, yeah. I, I saw a lot of from the last game against Chelsea. I'm joking. I'm joking. Yeah, yeah. We we did really well against Chelsea. I think. Uh, I hopefully we'll we'll, we'll we'll continue continue that form in. And you know, if it's not for Lacazette in that game, we will have been three three nil up at, at some point in that game. So I think we can score goals. It's just whether we can keep them out as a big issue. And well, Man United have all... been particularly great at defending either. So why not? 4 2. Let's go. Well, we all laughed at Juggernauts predicting 4 1 to uh, Liverpool versus Leicester. We all laughed at him regarding the 3 2 high score. And we all laughed at him regarding 4 0 to Man United last week. We've just laughed at JK. Maybe everybody should put their money uh, on. Why are you making us feel bad, Steve? <laughs> 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 I'm not laughing. We're not laughing at him. We're really? laughing with him. Yeah. Just a quick, <laughs> 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 just a, um, yeah. A, a quick one from Ian Anderson. Happy New Year to Elite FBL family. What you and Stephen and Jason have done this year has been well deserved, and hope you are the better second half of the season. So do I, because like Jason said earlier, it has been absolutely. <laughs> atrocious yeah, this year we, none of us none it's, of me and steve can actually be proud of this season so far so we're literally it's it's literally you know um a question of pride and trying to finish in the top five hundred thousand, or uh, about yeah two hundred and fifty thousand is is the goal for me anyway yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah uh well the, the form is saying 2-1 to man united jason so and again once again arsenal's home form is atrocious. Uh, they just seem to lose, lose, lose. Uh, averagely, they're conceding two a game, and th- but they're also scoring goals though. Averagely scoring two as well. So it could be like J.K. said, a very high scoring game. Now moving on to the final game of the week. It is Thursday. It's Davy FPL's team. It's Liverpool versus Sheffield United. It's going to be the let's be honest here, the Premier League title parade. Uh, they're, they're up against one of the hardest teams in the division. Uh, last time out, of course, it was uh, well, one. They were Ill. unlucky. I think I uh, very unlucky not to get a point at least out of that game, Sheffield United. If not a win, um, I don't think it'll be a walk in the park for Liverpool. No, nor do I. And uh, I, I keep forgetting this. Sorry. Regarding Rashford and Martial as captaincy options, uh, Rashford over the last uh, six, he started six, scored five goals. The last time oh. he played Arsenal. He got one assist. <laughs> Martial, um, last six games, he started five, uh, scored four goals. Uh, but last time he played um, Arsenal, he didn't actually play at all. So that's not actually available. Uh, so then finally, moving on to Liverpool versus Sheffield United. Like I said, I, I think that um, Liverpool are just going to edge this and I'm going to go 2-0 to Liverpool, Jason. Liverpool will just do the job in this game, I think. I think it'd be really tough and it will be... Mm. I'm going to say it now. It's going to be VAR. 
I think it's going to be VAR that, that does it again. It was VAR last time. It's going to be VAR again. It's going to be a penalty and it's going to be Mohamed Salah. Sorry, Steve-O. 1-0 Liverpool. Mm, Davey, are you, um, I, we spoke to FPL Penguin the other day uh, regarding Liverpool fans still being pessimistic about that. We're not going to say anything until um, basically we've won the title. Are you one of these people that is um, not celebrating the title win? Steve, I'm going to tell you something. I'm 21 years old. I've supported Liverpool my entire life and Never I've only had success <laughs> in the last year. So I'm going to keep my cards close to my chest and I'll only get excited once uh, it's mathematically impossible. So uh, I-, I think that there's a good chance if you're a betting man, you wouldn't bet against Liverpool to win it. But I, I think that anything can happen. You won't get much money only back thing if I can you do. Yeah, the only thing I can maybe think of if if Liverpool spread themselves in too many competitions, uh, then they, we might see the squad struggle a little bit. But I think that the squad's looking really good, so I, I think we should hopefully wrap it up this season. I think, yeah, I think, to be honest with you, there's no one probably that doesn't want Liverpool to win the league more than me. Um, and and uh, I was in denial up until about three or four weeks ago saying, no, 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 they're going to slip up. They're going to slip up. And I genuinely think now that, it, that it's, the gap is so big. I think they're, it's that sort of mentality that teams are coming out against them. We're almost that defeative mentality. Like, I, I know they would never admit to it, but I think that when you see a team like Liverpool just just consistently winning and the the morale's high and and the the, the crowd is behind them, a team going onto the field, you just think they're almost defeated before they kick the ball. I know it sounds crazy, but I really do think that's happening at the moment. And I just think that Liverpool will continue this just grinding out results. They're not going to be five, six goal thrillers. They're going to, it's going to be one or two goals. Um, and and um, it's going to be a really happy year for Liverpool. A really, really happy year. And um, I just hope that, that you know, other teams give them, um, give them a bit of a run for money next season. Because I think this season it's, it's, a, it's a done bet. Yeah, J- JK, are you confident ahead of this particular... In fact, Davey, you didn't actually give us a prediction for this particular game. 2-0 uh, <laughs> two, two to uh, Liverpool. Copying me again, surprise. surprise. <laughs> well, um, you, you've, been, you've been copying the... Uh, what's the, the new thing you do? The history for the first couple of games, I noticed. <laughs> it's, 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 hey, hey don't gentlemen. forget, he's going third in the prediction, so it's easy to say he's copying you when, you, when you're going first, Steve. Well, I, I, I genuinely, in all seriousness, when I do this, I find it really weird because I honestly just do my predictions and then I do all the research afterwards and I'm just like, oh, the history's going the same well, way. That's, as- the, that's exactly, I've made the, I'm just looking at my Super Brew page here. Yeah? I made these a couple of days ago, so. Yeah. Apologies, yeah, yeah. Steve. I'll take it. I'll, I'm copying you. I'll take it on the <laughs> Yeah, just like I was. <laughs> um, moving on to uh, JK, your final thoughts on this final game of the week? Yeah, Liverpool have just too much quality. I think they'll win 3 1. It's going to be 3 1, despite yeah. the fact that Sheffield United can never concede, but they can't even score against teams. Uh. <laughs> yeah, I think Liverpool just have too much quality. They'll win comfortably, I think. That well, the form me is suggesting just a tight 1-0 victory to Liverpool, uh, just scraping through. Captaincy-wise, Mane and Salah. Uh, Mane, over the last six games, he started five times, two goals, four assists. Last time he played Sheffield United, nothing. Uh, Salah, exactly like uh, Mane, has started five times out of the last six, three goals and one assist. Total-wise, um, the form is either suggesting you captain Kevin De Bruyne, Rashford, Mane or Vardy. Um, all four of them have all got excellent form at the moment. But of all of those four, it's probably KDB with the best returns over wow, the last... four players, I've only owned one. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, really? yeah, Vardy. So um, I hope that the history is wrong and um, I can actually scrape some points back. Uh, best of luck, though, to all of you, uh, whoever you choose as your captain. I think Vardy is going to be the, the most popular pick. Um, without without a shadow of a doubt but um yeah someone in chat said Salah or Mane Mane is the form player Salah is 
wasteful, very wasteful. Um, but he's got the ability to just surprise you. At any moment, he could just come out with a, a hat trick. Um, have I got rid of Paul Pogba, says FPL. Is that Boona? Or is that Lama? That's Boona. Um, yeah, I haven't got rid of him yet. I'll be talking about my team very, very shortly. Um, but that that uh, pretty much sums up our score predictions for game week 21, Steve. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, JK, have you posted your team in the team screenshots? Uh, no, I have not. Uh, but I believe I'm chopping the community, the community league. You maybe can pull it up from there. Well, we will only see your points for this week. Have you made any changes? Uh, no, no changes. Who are you thinking of captain? This, who are you captain this game week? Uh, I'm I'm going with Wadi. Whereabouts, whereabouts are you in the Challenge League? Uh, twelve. Uh, the the Community League. Community. That's you. Twelve yeah. in the Community League. Yeah. <laughs> I was first for a brief period, you know, on uh, before the Liverpool and City games. Ridiculous. But, uh, yeah. Wow. Sorry, let me just bring your team up for everyone to see. Uh, so, so Bloodcat Yang, Bloodcat Yang, um, basically overall points, 1240, overall rank, 2,472. Wow. Wow, yeah, dude, you're absolutely destroying. Maybe we should take, we should take your predictions a bit more seriously. Instead of laughing yeah, at I'm, you, I'm... Steve-O. <laughs> <laughs> I, I actually finished first in the Christmas League. I'm really for that. So what, um, what's your thoughts on this double Christ, uh, Crystal Palace uh, defence that uh, Steve-O thinks is going to concede? Uh, I'm going to put, uh, what do we call it, Rico and Soyuncu in. Um, I'm probably benching Kelly. Yeah, makes sense. <clears throat> And, and who did Rico you say you were going to be? Yeah. What's that? I'm, I'm, I'm captaining Wardy. Is, is that in all seriousness? Is that from a safety point of view, or do you genuinely think of your the team? He's got the most potential of getting the most points. Oh, I think he just had a rest, and he has a lot of motivation to score. It, it's a way which he likes as well. So I think Wardy all the way. Uh, Gemma wow. Dyer in chat said, "Could you remind?" Uh, chat how Rashford's form history um, is against Arsenal. You did say was it f- four goals? Was it? I can't remember. What it was that? yeah over the, over the last six fixtures, uh, Rashford started all six games and he's got five goals. Five the goals. last time he played, oh, five when he played Arsenal, six games. yeah, when he played Arsenal this year, he got one assist. Crazy, crazy. <laughs> um, no, I'm looking at I'm looking at your team. I mean, it's other than Harry Kane, it's fine. I mean, no. It's, um, <laughs> Ch- yeah. JK, are you in the? I can't see your name written down, but are you in the Champions League head-to-head game? Oh, uh, I'm not, unfortunately. Oh. <laughs> uh, lucky us then. <laughs> but <laughs> I've noticed that you don't own anybody other than Trent Alexander-Arnold. How are you preparing for the double game week for Liverpool? Okay, so I'm rolling my transfer for this week. Next week, the plan is to get rid of Kane and get inside. So uh, I'll take out Richarlison and Kane <clears throat> for Salah plus one. Oh, you're going to go Salah? Tell us why. Yeah. No, I, I just like Salah. Uh, he, he's the one I backed at the start of the season. And, you know, he, he has that something special in him, you know. He can create something from nothing at all, really. I hope you're right. <laughs> Uh, I do. Um, I picked Salah as well because of the you know the reasons you state. I think he's got Mane's a top player. Don't get me wrong, and he's proven that he's outscoring Salah. Uh, he's more more consistent than Salah. However, I think that once Salah gets firing, this is it. This is it. Once she once he goes on, once he gets back to his usual self. I mean, Davy is a good one to ask here. Um, Salah's confidence, I think, has been shot this season. I think he's been low. He's not, you know, when he scored a goal, he's not really been celebrating it. Um, do you see Salah second half of the season kicking on and actually being more like the Salah we we know and love in FPL? Well, I, I'd hope so, but coming the, from the watching the there, game, are the signs there? I don't. I personally don't think the signs are there. Um, he's. Honestly, he's looked really bad. 
in the past couple of games. It's not. It's not um, his get, positioning. He's positioning and his runs are fine. It's just what he does. It's his decision making. It's exactly. It? It's it's his decision making. It's his shots. It's shots that he. You, I literally see him practicing before the game, and then missing in the actual game. Um, I, I I don't know. I just think that with Liverpool now with their squad, I think we've seen a little bit more rotation. Um, the interesting thing for me was before the Wolves fixture, Klopp said in his in his pre-game uh, interview that if Shakiri was fit, he was going to start. So whether that be on the left or the right, maybe if Firmino didn't play and they played Salah up front, but yeah. I think we might see a little bit more rotation in the mm. upcoming game weeks. And uh, Mane's played more minutes with, than Salah, though, hasn't he? Yeah. He has, but I just don't. Know. I think it could have been either of them that got mm. rotated. Yeah, Mane's. A I just think that. Just... Yeah, I just think that Mane's looked the better option. And if I had to choose who to bring in at the current moment, I think I would go for Mane. Mm. Do you think that Salah's just? It's almost like for me, from a non-point, non-Liverpool sort of viewpoint, it almost seems like he's thinking about what he's doing a lot more than previous seasons, where he's just been like he's been it's been down to like an instinctual thing where he's just like yeah it's like an in the moment thing and now he's like kind of not panicking but like thinking bef- what he's got to do with the ball and therefore it, the, by that point in time the defenders come back and made the ch- challenge yeah. or he's always spurred I, it wide I, I almost think we have him in like two minds now because we sometimes see his his instinct as a goal scorer uh, you could have seen that with when he went one-on-one with Casper Schmeichel took it past him then he went for goal. Yeah. But then you also see the side of him when he gets in the box, should shoot, but he decides to square it because then he's got these kind of views that people say he's selfish. So I, I do agree that he's, he's almost overthinking things. Yeah. Um, but I think there's a lot of footballers that do that. Mane's also been, been like that sometimes. Uh, Firmino is the perfect example. When he has time on the ball, he sometimes misses... A, a easy pass about one meter but then in the box when he has no time you see these flicks and these uh skills that he does so it's it's hard to pinpoint something but i i don't think Salah right now is in the best shooting form but i don't think yeah. he's ever really been in the best shooting form i've never really seen him be a clinical striker a lot so apparently um yeah, an incident with Mane. Darren Walsh is saying he's in two minds because of the incident with Mane. When obviously they, they had an argument, didn't they? Yeah, when they when they when they clashed. Yeah, the, maybe. The, there's also uh, Ian said um, earlier on in the chat about um, his ankle injury. He's never been that. He, maybe he's that's playing on his mind as well. Um, no, it I, could it could be it could be a lot of factors. Yeah, exactly. But 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 basically, the bottom line is people talking about Mane, Mane and Salah. Salah is a risk. Mane is uh, the inform consistent um, FPL returner. There you go. J- JK, you you you're somebody that's literally just told um, people that you're going to be getting in Salah. Uh, you've just heard Davy FPL, Jason, and other people in the chat's thoughts. Um, your 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 opinion on all this? Um, I'm still sticking to my guns. You know, Salah, you know, with his cheeky flicks, you know, I think he, he he's just too good. And his history, the previous two seasons, said it all. Cool. I mean, I, I mean, yeah. Stick with your gut. You got the gut feeling is is something which you shouldn't ignore. Um, stick with that. Uh, it served you well this season, but anyway, um, at the very least. Um, haha. Um, what's this? We got people in chat saying, um, "Don't worry, he'll score a brace at the week." Uh, hang on. <laughs> Who said that? I'm sure I read a minute ago. Don't worry, you'll score a brace. I don't know how far back up in the chat it was, but uh, yes, no. um, that's that's the season summed up pretty much. Darren Walsh, <laughs> yeah. Dar- the bottom line is, line is Salah's going to score a brace this week. That was Darren Walsh in chat. Um, right. So, so JK, you're happy with your team then? No transfers at the moment. Roll in the transfer. Yeah, no transfer. Roll in the transfer. Yeah. Cool. Uh, Davey, have you got your team at all in the team screenshots? That we yeah, I th- yes, I he has. Yeah, half, 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 half past seven. Half past seven. Oh, no, half past five for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was going to say. Um, I'm not a, a time shower, Leah, don't worry. We, we're not there yet. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> let me just bring it up now for, for everyone to see. So here we go. So, Davey, how confident are you are with your team going into game at 21? Um. 
it's it's basically all down to if Spurs pitch up. Mm. Um, wow, that boys. that's gonna that's gonna be the decider basically. I don't, I'm unsure if Lucas Moore is gonna start. So that was a bit annoying uh, having seen him not play from or come come off the bench last game week. Uh, the Crystal Palace double up in defence. Uh, I think I've broken Crystal Palace. I said <laughs> in my videos. Uh, Guaita was going on the, the run of four yeah. consistent returns, and then I bring him in, and he and he gets two points, two points, two three points. So, um, yeah, literally got Guaita in the same time you did. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. Together. Yeah, uh, it's it's been annoying because it's also it's it's these. Uh, I think it was the the not this previous game week, two game weeks ago, um, against Newcastle or Brighton. I don't know who it was, but they conceded, and I think it was Newcastle. They conceded in like the eighty sixth minute. And that game looked like a nil nil. Um so it's oh, they've yeah. only been that conceded one, slightly, yeah. so I yeah. Think, yeah, I mean I'm looking at that team, obviously got the three Tottenham in there. Um that money's been invested in Lucas Moral Ali um and Traore um as as a as a cheaper option there. And obviously Traore, it wasn't that long ago we just thought of him as someone that could run really quickly, couldn't have a cross in him, couldn't have a shot in him, he was just yeah. basically someone that could run, and that was pretty much it. Oh, those times have gone by now and people are actually really looking at him strongly as a serious FPL um, asset. He is um, really coming on to being a top player. Um, but for me, it's been pointed out in chat at the moment, no Mane or Salah in your team. We've obviously gone with the likes of Moore and Ali. Um, are you going to be moving over to, back to your beloved Liverpool um, at all in midfield um, after so, well, so game yeah. 23 or for the double game week? Well, like Steve-O, who I've copied predictions, I'm going to be copying JK, it looks like. No, but I'm, I'm doing a very similar move. So Lucas Moore and Kane will probably be my yeah. two. Uh, but the, the, the tough spot for me is I want to triple up on Liverpool. And bringing in Salah and Mane is proving oh, really difficult. Yeah. Not, from, not from a budget point of view, but in terms of losing players at the right time. So if you look at Spurs' fixtures, I would like to hold on to some Spurs options for that Watford fixture, which is the not this game week, yeah, next yeah, game week, or no, the weekend after Liverpool. Yeah, 18th um, January. Yeah. Yes, so it's, it's, I'm going to have to use my free transfer because I don't want to waste them, and that's pr proving quite difficult. So I'm currently looking at maybe Firmino, because that would be really easy to do, just take Rashford to Firmino, when uh, Rashford's fixtures get a little bit more sticky, um, but but other than that, definitely one of the Liverpool midfielders will be coming in. The more stickier, and I think... the more stickier that Man United's fixtures are, the more potential Rashford's got. Yeah. yeah, I just think that I would rather maybe invest in like a Liverpool option for that double, and then I can always just bring Rashford back in afterwards. But Liverpool got a nice run then, so you you, you never know. Mm. I can certainly see what you mean by holding on to Tottenham for for game at twenty three away at Watford, but I don't, and it's, know, and I don't think yeah. they're going to score that many though. Um, yeah, that's that that's the thing, and the annoying thing is is I had them in the view of keeping them till game week twenty four for that Norwich at home fixture, and, and then, then losing them. City, yeah, but I wild carded before the uh, double game week was confirmed, so. That has also put me in a little bit because I was really just keen on not having Liverpool options till game week 23 and then only bringing them back in after the Wolves fixture. So that's put kind of a hammer in the works, but that's just FPL kind of have to adapt. Interesting. Yeah. Um, again, I mean, a lot of people will probably be going up with that midfield double up. Um, I've currently got two Liverpool defenders, so I'm only going to go with one Liverpool midfielder. But no, I think yeah. that um, you could probably use uh, tomorrow as a, a gauge for that triple up that you've got there yes, and then assess, no, yeah. assess what you're going to do really because i think that's yeah that's the nice advantage of maybe yeah. uh prolonging the transfers till as late as possible yeah definitely, definitely. So i should have uh, one question maybe for chat uh would and for you guys as well do yeah, you, would yeah. you play traore or Grealish? well i heard you say this on your video earlier and i was um, yeah. i instantly said uh, 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 I instantly said, "Why are you playing?" Because uh, at the time you had it on screen. Why are you playing Grealish? You had a Traore. I'd play Traore. Like I said, Burnley don't—they don't 
do that bad against teams like Aston Villa. Mm. And I, I truly, don't get me wrong, I do understand what you were saying about players like Grealish and everything. But I really do think that the last two games that we've played have been, we have been defensively solid. That Two yeah. stupid mistakes um, for the Man United goals. But um, I, I truly think that's going to be a really, really tight game. But we will edge that. And I honestly think Traore um, is probably just the better option. I, I mean, again, I could be proven wrong like with anything. But There are a few um, players in the Premier League, this is my opinion, there are a few players in the Premier League that can instill fear into other players that the likes of Adama Traore can. I mean, he is an absolute tank. Not only can he no, run... He not only can he run faster than the majority of people, yeah. defenders in the league, but he's also built to literally knock them out of the way, stand, stay up on his feet. He is, um, he's, he's shown that he's got finishing abilities. He's shown that he's got the ability to pick out a pass. He will be in that, um, in that Wolverhampton team, a, a player that other players turn to, look to. Um, and, uh, you know, essentially, I think he's becoming a, a leader in that in that Wolves team and it sounds crazy um, and I can really I, I can really see great things from him I think you've really got jumped onto that bandwagon um, at the right time I, I really do think you've chose the right pick at, at Traore and Grealish it'll be Traore all day for me um, Traore is the fastest player in the Premier League this is Alexander in chat according to FIFA um, is he the fastest in the league? Well, I mean, it wouldn't surprise me. Is he faster than Kyle Walker? Um, ah, you're, it's a tough one. I don't know. He, he's fast. I mean, Traore is fast. Um, apparently, he's the fastest player in the world, says FPL Little Saints. I don't know what, what statistics we're looking at there, but um, Ian Anderson in chat saying, Richarlison or Traore when I have Calvert Lewin? Question mark. Ooh, I. That. I, I, I'm going to let Steve answer that one. I would go with Traore. I don't trust Richarlson at all, to be honest with you. I think the fact you've got Calvert-Lewin uh, is perfectly good coverage for Everton. Uh, I wouldn't be going with Richarlson. His returns aren't as um, mm. as explosive as, say, someone like Traore. A few people in the chat, um, well, first of all, saying don't bench the GOAT, Traore. Um, we've got... Um, Grealish, uh, James Bang saying Grealish is also on penalties, so Grealish, he's going with Grealish. Bilal's also going with Grealish. Um, the Don saying that Traore Owen is going to be upset over the next three weeks. I don't know. I, I, well, I mean, it's, it's a tough one, but David, it's a tough it's one. A, it's a really tough one because then I also have worries of Traore because I don't know how Watford have been playing, mm. but I think if Watford sit back, mm. then. I think they're probably going to put two men on Traore because he's a little yeah. bit of a risk. If he's got and no I space think, to run into, that's when he's... Yes. Yeah, yeah. That's, but yeah. then I, but the Watford that I know usually do it, attack. So I don't know exactly how they've been playing recently because I just haven't been watching them. Mm. Very good. Di- it's a good dilemma to have. Um, <laughs> I, I, I think you've got it right though. Traore um, just, just looks better for me for those fixtures I think Burnley are not going to be any mugs against Villa and I think they'll shut up shop I think they'll do a good job of getting a victory there and um, if if uh, the, the thing is if they do get a goal you, you would imagine that Grealish would be a part of it that's the thing with Villa at the moment isn't it yeah it's been so terrible though like yeah they have yeah. Oh, that's I think if, if Aston Villa were in better form I think then Grealish would be a better option but I just think that Wolves looking good I think if they mark Traore out the game, then they're going to have to deal with Jimenez and that kind of thing. So that could open up the game, maybe. Uh, Simeon Bachelor in chat. Dini to cry live on the pitch. Dini versus Traore. Now, that's the matchup that I'd <laughs> love to see. I think I think Traore was run through him. Um, Traore is a beast when running, seen him play. Yep, he's... He's definitely a beast, but we'll um, we'll I mean we'll look forward to seeing your team um come the you know tomorrow after the deadline. Whether or not you've stuck with that Harry Kane captaincy, a part of me thinks that you're second guessing that and you're gonna switch it to Rashford or Vardy. I think um I think one of your other strikers will be uh, uh, having that armband. I'll be very surprised if you stick it with Kane personally, but fair play to you if you do. <laughs> we'll see, y'all. Yeah. Cool. So, um, so that's pretty much your. T- any, any other thoughts on your team, or are we are we good to go on to Steve Ono? So I'm I'm desperate um, to know. The, the only 
Oh, sorry, what did you say? You're desperate to? Uh, no, no, I'm just de desperate to know what Steve-O's thoughts are on his, you know, his team. This uh, the only, only a last question I just wanted to ask JK was, uh, why Kelly and why Rico, not Kelly? Because he also has Guaita, so... Oh, why Rico? I think Rico just has more attacking. And clean sheets are just, you know... Yeah, just throw, throw darts, see who gets them. Okay. Cool. Well, thank you for, for joining us guys uh, tonight um, on this score prediction show. Um, it's been a pleasure, especially if, you know, um, on, a, on a New Year's Eve as well, where obviously yeah. it's a very busy time of year. And um, I hope you've enjoyed coming on and talking to us about your teams and about the predictions. And um, Davey, FPL guys, um, we not, not like we need to introduce him, uh, fellow content creator on YouTube. Um, he is... Well, uh, uh, more, well, are you doing a live stream before, like you always do, before the deadline? Uh, deadline? That's what it's yeah, we are doing it. We are doing a New Year's stream. So there we go. Check yeah. out, check out Brilliant. Davey FPL tomorrow for his live stream during the deadline, guys. Um, and then you can find out what happens with his armband live. <laughs> if I'm free, I yeah. can tune in as well, Davey. Um, it's been a pleasure, guys. Oh, no worries. No, thanks. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. No, no, absolute pleasure. Happy New Year to you, uh, and um, yeah. I, I look forward to speaking to you again soon. Uh, don't be a stranger, Davy. JK, thank you all for joining us. Sorry, Davy. Just a bit off topic, but it's not off topic. Um, Andy, let's talk FPL. Was celebrating his three-year anniversary. We celebrated our one-year anniversary. How long have you been doing uh, YouTube for? It's, it's what been since last season. It was it was last season uh, about game week ten or twelve I think wow. so uh, maybe I would say maybe a year and a year and two months maybe where where Three do you months. see yourself kind of like going basically just continuing the same way that you're doing or because obviously you've got a new sponsor now or you've got a sponsor now and everything do you see that yeah. do you see this as a a potential career for you what what where where do you see it yourself this time next year, I suppose. Um, well, I'm final final year mechanical engineering, so I'll probably do a post grad after that. So I can definitely say that through that I'll continue to do FPL. Um, I don't think uh, currently, maybe in South Africa, it's an option to do it full time. Um, I I just think that I would have to it would I would have to be as successful as i would have if i just got an engineering job so i'd have to weigh that up once i see how i get but yeah. that gives me a couple of years to decide on it um i don't know exactly how it works in the uk because i've seen a lot of uh, other fpl managers such as uh, andy who's gone full-time fpl now but he's kind of uh, substituted it as well with a, a job at fantasy football scout so yeah uh, he's got that almost like double income now uh, which makes it a lot more realistic yeah so uh, it's it's all it's all to it's all to see kind of in the future can i can i also go before jason um continues on uh, just an open conversation here do you actually enjoy uh doing what you do and another question for you is what do you prefer do you prefer doing the edited videos that are already pre-recorded or do you actually do in, or do you enjoy the live streaming which, which do you prefer doing um i think i think i the videos are good, like standard to do. I think I'll always have the videos, um, but I do enjoy the live streams more. I think yeah. the time I put into doing a video, I could probably get a, get a lot more streams done in that same time. Because um, the streams you set up, I don't do as much background as you guys do with your information stats. Jason with his uh, getting the graphics, which are super good on your stream. That's always something that you've had that makes it look really professional. Mine is literally recording my browser. <laughs> so um, it's nothing more than that. But I do like the live streams because of the interaction. Yeah, I have a lot, of, a lot of regular uh, joiners now that really do have, a, have quality banter. So I enjoy that part of it. Um, where the comments are quite standard, you know. So I've definitely liked delving into the streaming a little bit more. Um, but I just think from a timing point of view, uh, during the holidays, I've been able to do both. But then maybe during the term, I might have to just stick to one. And that'll probably be the videos. 
uh, Davey, I have to ask you a question because um, I know that um, yeah. my fiance's family over in South Africa, they they tell me the internet over there is hell- hellishly expensive and also to get high speed internet, it's even more expensive. Do you find it a yeah. challenge to to do these live streams uh, or have you got a good provider over there that you, you use that uh, can basically be up to the task? So, so South African internet is really synonymous with, with low... Um, quality and low kind of service um, but in my suburb that I stay in mm. uh, we I don't know if if because to us it was a massive thing we got fiber internet I don't know if that's that's probably something you guys have had for years yeah yeah um, okay. but it's basically so I have a 10 meg line oh, okay. which has a 10 meg download but then a, a 4 meg upload which oh. which is a, it's not bad I think that that's I think 720p, I, I might be able to push it to 1080p yeah, yeah. streaming, but 720p is kind of my standard. For a still, uh, screen, but, for a still screen image, you can yes, that easily. Yes, yes, exactly. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know so much more than me, so I should probably just ask you about all hey, this if tech you ever, stuff. If you, if, if, you need a, if you ever need any advice or any help or anything like that, just give me a shout. I'll give you, if I've got yeah. time, I'll help you out. But. So if I upload a video at home, it's uh, about an hour upload, but yeah. my saving grace has been at my university. We have very fast internet so an a video there uploads in two minutes because they have like a 150 upload so that right. during the term that's what i really like because i'll do my videos for the week go there upload in 10 in five minutes uh, whereas at home now during the holidays it takes an hour basically for every upload so it's it's not it's not terrible but um it could be better no i mean uh, that, that, that's the first thing I've thought of when obviously you started doing the live streams. I thought, oh, God, his internet bill must be through the roof. But that explains it all. I mean, um, that's, yeah. that's pretty no, cool. When, when, when I'm uploading, the, yeah. no one in the house can like use the internet. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm I'm so, I'm great. I'm grateful for that. I'm grateful that we can we can watch your live stream content, and your videos, and I'm also grateful that SCOM aren't doing lo- load shedding when you're doing your streams. As well. <laughs> That's always a bonus. They're, try, they're trying to shut me down, Jason. Over here, <laughs> they're doing badly in their season. Uh, they're, they're angry. <laughs> yeah, they, yeah. We just got to plan your streams around it. But um, yeah, Davy, a massive pleasure, my friend. Thank you ever so much for being with us tonight. Nice. And we thanks, speak thanks soon. a lot for letting Thank me you. join. No, thanks always, so man. Always Enjoy. Welcome. Enjoy the rest of your New Year's. Happy New and Year. Hopefully you too, dude. Game Week, Game Week 21 is a nice New Year's present. Yes, absolutely. That'll be good for me. Thank you so much. Speak <laughs> soon. Bye now. Yeah, cheers, guys. Um, I'm very mindful we've got a few guys in the in the waiting room wanting to come in and talk to us as well. well. Gonna, and, yeah, I was going to say, let's get them all on together. Yeah, but, yeah. Before, but before we bring them in, let's let's concentrate on mining your team. But can we... Can we just do the community team first? Say you thank you for JK as well, because JK. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yes. Thank you, JK, yeah, thank for you, being with us tonight. Thank tonight. you for and, having uh, me on. Yeah. No, it's a pleasure, and I hope you maintain your high, astronomically high rank, um, yes. and break into the top one thousand at some point. That'd be great. And um, oh, yeah, we'll wish you the best of luck for next year as a rival, even. Uh, happy New Year, my friend, and enjoy. Yeah, happy New Year. Thank you, Cheers, buddy. Thank you. <laughs> cool, Steve. Oh, got, we're gonna get your team up on the screen. Um, well, can, we, can, we, can we do the community team first, please? Oh, yeah. And basically, for yeah, it's the first one that I've put up. Yeah. The team screenshots. So yeah, for everybody that's voted, <laughs> the awesome. vote has already been collated, and you got rid of Otamendi and you brought in Sidibi. <laughs> um, what am I looking at here? To play him. Well, I I, do, I just speak to Andy about this. So Andy's the one. So yeah. I don't know. I'll, I'll speak to him about the team setup. He may get Kelly in for Sadibi or whatever it may be. But um, he will be putting up a poll vote for the best captaincy option as well. Uh, but Jason, it's 450,000th in the world, this particular team. It was 250,000th last week or, so, half, or something. Half, I can't remember specifically. Half my but... rank, that is. Yeah. And it's so... got Callum Wilson up front. <laughs> Yes, I know. It's um, it's 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 it's, it's absolutely um. They brought in Callum Wilson actually this particular game week two, uh, as in last game week. Sorry, right. game week twenty was the was the one. But they captain Kevin De Bruyne uh, this week, do you believe? So uh, yeah. yeah, but uh, yeah. So just underneath my that team is now my team, and there it is. But right. I'm assuming you've got it up I'll, on I'll, screen. I'll, now. Bring, I'll bring it up now. Yeah, your team just, is Lundstrom. I'm just debating on whether to um, 
take a hit or not. I think I'm just going to, like Davey said, or JK, I think it was JK, he said he's just going to roll a transfer. That's all I'm going to do. Uh, I am going to, I'm toying with, do I get in Robertson or Salah? It's one of the two. I really don't know. I always prefer the attacking player though, uh, ahead of game week 24. Mm, yeah. Who would you take out for Salah though? Would it be... Yeah, exactly. That's I, the I, thing. That's the thing. Madison would have to be involved, like you said originally, and maybe downgrade Rashford. But is that really it, gonna it, pay it, off? Is it? We talked about Salah. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm very much aware that I've picked the out of form player out of the two of them. So, I'm hoping that uh, some miracle, some post Christmas miracle, can pay off for me. Uh, mm-hmm. Looking at your team, it's a very strong team. Um, no changes made. Interesting, you're playing Lundstrom, but Lundstrom can score against potentially anybody but i do think that um, i don't know that's that is the thing um i mean williams i'm, I'm thinking of getting him gone to be honest with you lundstrom i just they're, they're upcoming fixtures they're not particularly great i'm not really bothered about losing value on him i don't think i'll ever bring him back in again i think they're a better because to be honest with you i'd probably it's either science or lundstrom that i'd replace with uh, if I was to get a Liverpool defender, um, I'd replace Game Lundstrom or Sanchez with either... Vi- no, 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 I wouldn't be getting him. I'd be getting Van Dijk or uh, Robertson. How uh, would you afford that? I'd get rid of... Uh, what's his face? Oh, so you Madison. do a hit, sorry. Yeah, I've already done it on my screen right now. I, I would oh, do a okay. minus... Oh, uh, so do a minus four Ooh. for... for, for... For, for Gomez... Sorry, not Gomez, sorry. Uh, Van Dijk in and who's like Traore or something like that? Yeah, be, uh, no, uh, no, I did a minus eight and it was something like Soyuncu, Madison, Jimenez. There we go. It's, we're changing roles now. Now Steve O'Shea clear. He's happy to take minus eight. And I bring in Calvert-Lewin, um, God, Martial, Van Dijk and... Uh, Fabianski, I was going to get because I want to get rid of Henderson. Bring in Fabianski. Out, I want to read out very quickly uh, a message from John Harris in the ah, chat. A few, Happy New Year to the both of you and all the, the FPL community. Have a good one, guys. Um, can't believe you're live on New Year's Eve night. Dedication. Ha- let's go. Not for, hopefully not for too much longer um, because um, it's New Year's Eve and I've got uh, The Witcher and Lost in Space and other things and i'm going to be binge watching some some tv and looking forward to watching the fireworks at midnight but uh uh with the family but um but no where am i what was i saying thank you ever so much john harris um for that very kind those very very kind words and uh, for the rest of you guys in chat as well wishing us well um happy new year to all of you no yeah, it's pretty straightforward your team um i i don't expect you'll do any hits but um oh no i'll be, I'll be trust me for the double upcoming double game week i'm doing it i'm I couldn't care less. Like I said, I'm, I couldn't care less about this game. I've, I've I've got nothing to play for. So whatever I do, I do. There's there's nothing at stake here. I'm not going to get a fourth place spot in the Challenge League. So it's only the head to head in the Champions League that we've got, which is starting so, tomorrow. So, yeah, I'm ha- I'm happily doing it. Go for it, man. Um, fantasy is about your gut feeling. Samir Khan says uh, for a lot of people it is, but a lot of people just go against it. Um, but uh, no, do you, want to, do you want to see my team? Uh, I won't be able to see it unless you put it in team screenshots, but yep, go for it. Well, I, I'll, I'll let you know right now it's exactly the same as my previous team. But, but you're, it's Pogba, of course, and you're going to be getting... Pogba is going to be Marshall. Oh, right. It's just that, right, fair, not yeah. downgrading, upgrading, if anything, but, but saving money. <laughs> yeah, saving money on it. Um realizing my mistake um and pogba is going to be marshall and save some money so there we go i'll probably do the, i'll probably do the transfer tomorrow morning to be honest i don't need to do it now no my mate uh in fact he's in the torbay elite cash mini league so he he's doing really well this season and he's captain in marshall he's doing wow. very well by the wow. way this season. Wow. i think he's something like forty thousand. he may have dropped down but mm. he's, he's certainly in the top one hundred thousand easily it's, so uh, it's, 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 Interesting, very interesting uh, punt on the captain there. We could easily do well. I'm, I'm starting. I, I'm tempted. Right, so this is a question for chat. Can well, start Cantwell at home to Crystal Palace or play Greenwood away at Arsenal? Well, it's Cantwell, isn't it? Surely, because <laughs> Greenwood ain't going to play. 
he may come on as a sub, but he ain't going to be starting that game. Oh, well, you never know. Pogba's there not there. Pogba's... Antwell's got a favourable fixture within reason. Both stupid options. Everyone's saying play, play Cantwell, Cantwell, Cantwell. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, so, yeah, my team is Geiter in goal away at Norwich. Um, we've got Aurier away at Southampton, which Tottenham, Southampton, I predicted Ings to do well in that game. Um, Soyan Chu away at Newcastle. So, I've got three away players in my back five. Um, We've got Gomez and Alexander Arnold as my double up against Sheffield United, who I also think have got a potential chance, but I just think that Liverpool will get a victory there, a narrow 1 0 victory. Salah, Pogba, which will be Martial. So it'll be Salah, Martial, Sterling, Aguero, Vardy, or actually, it'll be, it'll be Salah, Martial, Sterling, Cantwell, uh, and Aguero, Vardy. How are you feeling about the Sterling Aguero uh, <laughs> double up? Um, I'm I'm sticking to my guns, Devo. Um, I was disappointed when Aguero. Well, I I was disappointed when KDB decided to to just get a double digit haul. To be honest with you, but I was mm. I was happy that Aguero scored. Very very fortunate, by the way. He took his goal really well, though. Very fortunate that he scored, though, because I don't know if you know, but the referee was kind of involved in that. I don't, I don't know what, what. Yeah, the referee kind of got in the way of a, uh, a Sheffield um, player, and uh, it was kind of interesting. Um, but uh, it, it kind of bounced free. It didn't touch the referee at all. Uh, bounced through, and um, De Bruyne passed it through to Aguero, and uh, Aguero scored a very, very clinical goal. Um, we got KDB Defo ahead of Sterling. Sterling, KDB? Question uh, mark. No KDB and Mane. Oh dear, we are in trouble. Says Ryan in chat. Um. Well, so I mean, hashtag play your own game. I, I mean, I know I haven't got KDB in, and I was spouting him. Well, Steve, I was saying the same thing. We, we were both calling him essential game week eight. I think that um, I've got myself in this situation with I, I, where I own Sterling now. I'm going to be stubborn. I'm going to keep him. Uh, and I've got I've got a fire to put out with Pogba. So there you go. <laughs> uh, a regular contributor Marco saying oh, I'm a little drunk at the moment my captain this week is Mares. A, fan- a fantastic year for all yeah congrats uh, happy new year to you Mar- we, uh, Marco and thank you for your support we, for the we're, show. we're pretty pressed with time uh, Steve-O so we can bring in some of the callers I know FPL Penguins probably spent half of his New Year's Eve waiting for us waiting to come in so FPL Penguin <laughs> I, know, I know you've been in the, the waiting room for about an hour now um, yeah. So, so thank you for first of all, thank you for waiting. I have noticed you there, but we were we were in full flow, and I, I do appreciate you waiting on this uh, New Year's Eve. So, happy New Year to you, first and foremost. Thank you, happy New Year to both of you. And um, Mr. FBL Penguin, what do you think of Steve-O comparing you to the Norwich manager? <laughs> <laughs> what can I say? Um... It's a good job I've had a, a cider before we start talking. <laughs> and also, Happy what New do you Year, think... everyone. Uh, what did um, you think of his prediction? Uh, not his prediction, well, his impersonation of you as I well. Could, no, I can understand. Hey, you personate. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Cheeky <laughs> bugger. Right, listen. Um, yeah, I can I can see a bit of resemblance. It's, you know, a bit. It's the hair. <laughs> yeah, um, apart from the fact that he's 20 years older than you. Yeah, yeah, he's probably my dad. A long lost dad. <laughs> <laughs> a German dad. Um, but honestly, uh, yes, yeah, so I just put it on my latest mm. YouTube video, a bit of comparison. And you saw it. <laughs> yes. Let me just, let me just... And of course, of course, you've hit your wild card. I have, uh, Steve, yeah. And so it's changed I've... a lot since your video. Uh, Christmas three, tree. Five, yes, yeah. Christmas tree. <laughs> yeah, so um, that's the team I'm going for. Uh, I'm not wow. changing it. So. Um, oh, my God. Uh, Fabianski in goal um, but yeah I'm going for that midfield I'm, I, I like the looks of Traore and Saar um, Saar being a good differential Watford playing a bit more better now Great team. Uh, under Pearson uh, thank you and uh, I, it was it was a bit tough because the likes of people like yourself Steve-O I think one thing was on the stream before I was last on talking about Rashford um, I just I just wanted to go for Ings and Vardy up front because I know Vardy's got that six day rest now. Um, while he, him and his wife had a, a new baby girl, um, I brought in Calvert Lewin as well. 
uh, put him on the bench. I don't. I, he could possibly score against Manchester City, Calvert Lewin, but I'd rather play Sal against Wolves just in case. Definitely. I mean, it's. I, I just look at that team. And I think, yeah, yeah, I can see why you brought him in. Yep, 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 yep. I mean, it's a strong team. You have got the triple up on the Liverpool there. You've gone the double up in the defence. You've not chose Salah, who, as we discussed earlier on, is risk. Um, you've kept Madison. Yeah, I can see. Yeah, it's great. It's a great team. I'm going to wild card and do it myself. Oh yeah. No, 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 fair play. No, um, you must be very confident going into game at 21. Definitely going to be Vardy in captaincy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What's the, just... the likelihood of you sticking with this team, though? Um, I think I'll stick with it. Uh, well, I'm thinking about taking Ings out of my team um, after game week 21. Um, I was either thinking of benching him and bringing on Calvert-Lewin because I know he's got Brighton game week 22 um i am thinking about that but i I can't remember who it was it could be uh Mwape. i could t- bring in for danny ings because he's got everton away uh game week 22 and then he's got some pretty nice fixtures after that with villa i think um so i'm thinking that so i'm going to give danny ings a chance against spurs at home uh tomorrow and see uh how it goes and you've decided to play to have two plain goalkeepers uh, what Fabianski and Ryan? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I wanted to get get uh well just basically wild card. Wanted to get my bench a whole lot more better. Um, because it just basically just had <laughs> like Sir Handley on the bench. No disrespect to Handley. Fair enough, he's playing, he's getting games, but not conceding goals. Wanted to make that bench a lot more better. Um, Fabianski, I think it was FPL lad who mentioned him to me. Uh earlier today he can pick up save points he's going to be back in goal and i can see a clean sheet against bournemouth good rotation with ryan mm. um he can pick up save points as well so i think i've got two in my opinion two very very good goalkeepers who can pick up some good points you know That's save points really, it's a really i mean it's it does scream out disappointment on the bench that's the only thing this team. does it well it, 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 you've just got such a well-rounded team that Mm. You've got points from lots of different places. Like, mm. yes, we know that you can go with, you know, a non-playing goalkeeper and and just have the one. And yes, you could have like, just fodder like Dendonka or some, so to speak, and um, on your bench, and you kind of just have to, you know, just forget about them and hopefully pick up the two points if they do come on. But I don't like personally seeing, you know, a player getting, you know, a point haul on the bench. And I think that. With this team, you've got the you've got the luxury. Of course, you have the luxury of rotating players, but you've also got the frustration of also like Steve-O last season when he had a similar team where where he's having to kind of choose between players and which players are going to outscore which. And I think that I mean, it, it's a nice team. It's a very nice team. But as long as you can mentally um, tolerate the the odd benching headache, then uh, then yeah, you're set to go forward. Mm. Definitely. Yeah. You got, How are your yeah. teams coming along? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, we talked about and we're 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 not we're not really ones to kind of uh, to talk about our teams. What, that what do you think's gone wrong, Jason? I know uh, it's um, it's mainly one of the reasons. But what do you think's gone wrong with you, mate? Come on, what's talk about? Let's let's talk about the New Year's resolution. Well. <laughs> What's gone wrong essentially is the players I think are going to do well in the weeks that they've got a nice fixture or um, I've taken a punt on. They just have backfired. A lot of them have backfired. I mean, yes, my goalkeeper picks have been really good, um, but they haven't bailed me out as as often as as I ever needed them to. In terms of the players I brought in for hits, have just not performed. Essentially, what it is, and it's simple maths. If if you're taking a hit for a player and that player doesn't score you the points to to, to redeem himself for the for the negative points, then you're going to do bad. And that's essentially why I've saw multiple red arrows. And I, I uh, and I'm I'm seeing the error of my ways, chat. Don't worry, I'm I'm going to be a reformed man come 2020. And New Year's um, resolution. I'm pushing. Not many. <laughs> I'm pushing for the the top 250k, and um, 
who would who I, I certainly wouldn't have thought that I would have been down in these dumps, but you know, it's it's a fight and I'm ready I'm I'm away uh I'm ready to fight my way out of it. You could turn it around, Jace. You can turn it around. Yeah, yeah, it's plenty so of time. Another half season to go, mate. Yeah. Well I, I think the Aguero pick for me is I'm literally I, I, Aguero this 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 season I've um I've hedged my bets with Aguero multiple times and it's 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 not paid off. And I think that I think this could easily backfire on me having that money in in, in Aguero and um, going with Salah instead of Mane. Um, these decisions just could easily backfire, and that could mean uh, further red arrows. Um, mm. But but yes, Stevo's um, penguin asked you what's gone wrong. There you go. That's what I have to say. What about you? <laughs> You've done just... multiple streams of you saying that logical picks have just not paid off. I uh, just uh, well no that's true but it's also the fact I just haven't gone with my gut I just haven't gone everything I've ever said on this stream I've never gone with and yet people that watch this why on earth they take my advice but they they seem to do and they it's paid off for them I think the most famous one was when I said about Kevin De Bruyne I said every time he plays at home captain him no matter what he'll get you a double digit return and did why I take that you, advice? Steve, why, why don't yeah, exactly. you take What is then, going course, on in your mind? Why don't you yeah, listen to yourself? Because I, I follow the sheep. I'm, I'm really? one of those people that f I'm like a sheep. I just follow <laughs> the herd. And uh, the thing is, is that on that particular occasion, I remember that a uh, key boy was like um, on a live stream. He said, uh, thanks for your advice, Steve. I captain Kevin. De I think it was against Brighton and he got a double digit yeah. return. And I just sat there like, what, what on earth? Why did I not captain him? And, it's just not good. Mate, it's just not. Uh, someone, well, it was me, I said that if I'd have gone with my history captaincy throughout the whole season, I would be in the top 20 in our cash mini league, which would equate to approximately at this stage of the season, roughly, uh, ironically, choosing keyboard in the top 20, about 160,000th. That's where I would be if I'd have just simply gone with the history captaincy. But why would I bother going with my uh, own? Are you going to um, New Year's resolution, Steve? Are you going to start listening to yourself this <laughs> this this upcoming year, or is it going to be um, what's the what's the phrase? Um, I find it I find it really difficult because I'm one of these people that just glutton seems for to, punishment. That's the word I'm after. Yeah, I, I just seem to fall in that trap of sods and law all the time where one minute I say one thing and I say well if if I if I do that then I bet you the popular captain will probably haul instead and it's just second guessing all the time it's ridiculous but now uh, regarding moving forward with the season like I said because I've got no hope in hell of catching the top four places I'm just having a bit of fun with it and I'm still going to play it safe and I'm not going to go mad but I'm just going to be like, if I need to take a hit, I'm just going to take a hit. I couldn't care less. It just doesn't bother me. But this particular game, like, I don't need to do anything with my team whatsoever, to be honest with you. And... Um, Marco Ribello in chat. Pick Aguero. Jason, pick Aguero for captain. You will not regret. What Ooh. does Marco Ribello know that no one else does? <laughs> uh, what's your thoughts, Steve-O? Will I regret not picking Aguero as my captain at home to... Uh, um, to well, to be honest, I think you should. Uh, in all seriousness, even when I um, was looking through doing the prediction, I thought, you know what? If you own Aguero, captain him. If I owned Aguero, I'd captain him against Everton. Mm. It's just their home. Man City at home are just. It, and it's not just freaks. that. It's the <laughs> fact that Pep could just bench Aguero, plays Jesus, mm. and Aguero could come on for the final fifteen minutes. If that as a, and it's and, and play Aguero in the cup. I mean, I don't necessarily see that happening, but it's a possibility. You can't cancel that out. Uh, I think FPL, where FPL will little start things and answer Everton. your question. Is it because too much input from interacting with everybody that puts you off your original thinking? Uh, you've hit the nail on the head. It's why I don't actually look at chat anymore. Uh, to be honest with you, I just um, try to avoid <laughs> chat as much as I can because it chat, just completely takes chat away. Chat trying from to sabotage you. your team, Steve. Chat are trying to sabotage your season. <laughs> I, 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 I like this. I like reading in chat because chat um come out with interesting topic points um i don't certainly don't look at chat and say oh i'm gonna do this because chat have told me to but um i think you can subconsciously take information from like if certain amount of people shout the same thing subconsciously yeah. you start 
to believe it and oh yeah 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 i'll do that yeah like the sheep mentality like you talked about um, it's like it's like me this game week i've I've got the captaincy on kevin de bruyne and everybody will, will say no do... no no you've got to go with jamie vardy well you probably will change it to vardy and... then if you go on your past but <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? Uh, maybe I might change my captaincy to Aguero at uh, eleven twenty nine a.m. tomorrow morning, <laughs> and um, and Marco will. I'll be v- virtually buying you a, uh, a a champagne. There we go, um, toasting into the new year. But um, but no, um, Penguin. Um, I know I'm very mindful of the time. I know you've been waiting ages. Have you got any final um, things to say about this game week and your team, or about us? Uh, well, about you two, I want to say uh, Happy New Year again to you both. And, you know, you two have come a long way um, since, you know, was it when I found your channel about February or March time this year? Mm. You know, you both come a long way and uh, you're really cool guys and uh, really, um, really great how channel. Did you, uh, how did you come across us, just of interest? Uh, I think it was the Elite FPL Instagram account got in contact with me on oh. uh, Instagram. I don't know whoever was controlling it back then. Mm. Um, but yeah, it was, and then I thought, oh, these, and then oh, I, I, no, that was, I think YouTube. I got invited into a group, didn't I? I think I, it was that. I think it was that way around. I and then I went to Instagram. your YouTube channel and then, uh, is it the FPL is life. Is it? Is that yeah, one? that one. Yeah. 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 That's the one. God. I didn't make that. Someone made that. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, who's, who's our little lobby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, but no, yeah. No, it's cool. I'm looking forward to uh game with 21 the rest of the season. I got a long way to go. I'm still in the FPL cup. <laughs> Fifth round, I've never been this far. Well, wow. Well. Uh, oh, wow, well done. Yeah, but yeah, I'm looking forward to rest season. So, see what the rest of the season has in store and see what 2020 has in store overall. So, pleasure. Thank anyway, you so much. Anyway, guys, me. happy new year. Yeah, and you too. Cheers, man. Another Cheers, content lads. creator on YouTube. Go check him out, FPL Penguin. You will not be disappointed. Great guy. Thank you ever so much, buddy. Cheers, lads. Cheers, Jason. Cheers, Cheers mate. Cool. So let's see who else we have. We've got Chicken Tika and Anish. We're going to bring both of them in. Yeah. Chicken Tika yeah, and Anish. Yeah, yeah. Good yeah. evening. We're going to bring both of you in at the same time purely because we're running out of time. Thank you ever so much for your patience and waiting to come on this evening. And first and foremost, Happy New Year to both of you. Cheers. You too, Jason Stevo. Happy New Year, Jason Stevo. Uh, take that pillow off your face, Charlie. We want to hear you. <laughs> pillow. Two cane <laughs> captainers. Confident. Um, well, I've got it on him at the moment, but I'm just debating on Vardy and Vardy and Kane at the moment. I'm not sure yet. What, what's the what's swaying it for Kane? Just the fact that his record's really good. He's got nine goals and two assists in ten games against Southampton. Yeah, uh, Charlie, what are you talking on? What are you, are you using to to talk with at the moment? I got uh, just headphones and a tin can. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no! It's, it's, it sounds really muffled, mate. It sounds like you're in um, you're underwater. <laughs> no, but <laughs> no, it's like, it sounds like there's a bathtub between me and you right now. <laughs> to be honest with you, uh, no, no, I don't know what's wrong. Um, but uh, right now. we will persist as as uh, Steve-O keeps on about. Um, I'm gonna next year. I might just do Steve-O mannerisms. Uh, and see how see, see how often he recognises me when I do them. Just uh, copy Steve-O's phrases that he comes out with. Um, Harry Kane captaincy, like Steve-O said, I don't think you're going to keep it on him. Um, team looks solid, though. Any any concerns, uh, Charlie? Um, not, well, before, obviously, like this week, I've done two free transfers. I bought in Trent. I was, I was going to do the wild card because, like, the last month has been horrendous. Like, obviously, I was top of the cash league down to uh tenth mm. um, <laughs> really that yeah. far Jeez. yeah yeah tenth yeah it's been an awful awful month just not owning trent for his haul um obviously de bruyne for his 19 point haul and you know Mane as well i got rid of him for the blank and then didn't get him back in but um yeah i think my team looks pretty solid on paper so hopefully it does well yeah, I mean it's, uh, I mean it's interesting, isn't it? This is time of year when all these games come thick and fast. We, I've dropped, I've dropped crazy uh, amounts of ranks. Um, Steve has actually gained um, uh, uh, on a few weeks now, and um, you know, down to tenth, doing so well. You, you surely got to be confident that you can pull that back. 
Yeah, definitely, definitely. It's still half half a season left yet. So, and you know, a lot of people have used like I mean, I've only used my triple captain, whereas I think Joggernauts and a few others have used free hits and stuff yeah, yeah. like that. So, mm. yeah, I'm I'm still confident there's still loads left. So, fingers crossed, I can call some back this week with a Van Dyke goal and a clean sheet. Game at twenty four. You tempted to use your free hit? No, um, I'm probably gonna. <clears throat> No, I'm not going to do free hit. I'll probably um, just figure it out over the next week because obviously there's no Premier League on the weekend mm. with the FA Cup. So I'll just figure it out. Yeah, you've got um, plenty of time to digest and think about things, haven't you? Yeah, I mean, what I'm probably going to do, I'm probably going to get Firmino in for Rashford. What is going on with Firmino? Got... Why is there, what, you're the second person tonight that's uh, on about bringing Firmino in. Is he suddenly going to go on a run, is he, of, uh, of point returns? Like, Sorry, I didn't get the memo. I'm just interested to think about that. I just, I just think his away record is pretty good, and they're both away from home. Okay. So I think it, it could be a good differential. Interesting, so. Steve. What's your thoughts on Firmino? Was he ever on your radar? Or someone to bring? He, what he was, but then I looked at his overall performance this year in FPL, and I just thought, nah, he's, he's, he's a no from me. <laughs> As they yeah. send right, it does well. It does well in other competitions, but just, yeah, not really for me in the Premier League this season. Um, any other fires in your team that you want to put out? Nah, not. I think I think this week's all right. Um, oh yeah, like I said, I just I just have a long think about it next week and see what maybe play the wild card. Mm. Um, I'm not sure yet. Is Harry Kane going to gonna play? Harry, can, Harry Kane going to have your armband? That's the question. Um, it's the same for you as well. I'm not sure yet. Yeah. I'm not sure. Kane or Vardy, but well, I'm not, but... probably Vardy because the amount of people that are going to captain him. Mm. Mm. I know yeah, the same boat as Davy. I think. Same boat as Davy. It was we had we spoke to earlier on today, but um, no, I think you. I mean, you've got your, your plan, and uh, it'll be interesting to see if you. If you hold out, I know Brew's in chat. I am um, Brew. If you're still listening, um, I predicted Southampton to have a shock victory against <laughs> Tottenham two one. What's your thoughts on that uh, that prediction, uh, Charlie? I reckon it four two Tottenham. Four two Tottenham. Okay, Charlie. Thank you ever so much for being with us this evening, and um, uh, we look forward to speaking to you tomorrow if you're able to come on. Alright, cheers lads. Cheers Charlie. Thank thank you Happy, so New Year. Happy New Year, mate. Happy New Year. Uh Anish, thank you for being with us this evening. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, guys. How are you guys doing? I'm I'm super, thank you for asking. I'm bringing your team up on the screen now. Uh we have another Hurricane Captain as Steve O said a second ago. Steve O, you've got to ask any questions for Anish? Yeah, what are you actually predicting on the uh Tottenham Southampton game? Are you expecting a high scoring uh Game considering your captain Kane because you have got Rashford in your team up against a leaky well, uh, what was a leaky Arsenal defence? Of course, Kevin De Bruyne at home. Uh, I think that the Spurs game. I think there's going to be goals in for all the attackers that I have, but um, I'm thinking around. I think two two or three two to Spurs. Uh, Davey FPL of course has got that dilemma just like you of playing either Traore or Grealish at the moment you're going Grealish uh, uh, you think that Grealish um, is going to have some fun against Burnley I think he I think the reason I like Grealish is because he's the main man in that team if anything's going to happen it's going to go through him mm, you're not concerned though about Aston Villa's away form um, not too concerned I think they should score a goal at least get one goal and if they do get a goal, I am pretty certain Grealish will be involved either in assist or the goal mm. score. Uh, of course, the new wild card is available now. Are you tempted to use it or are you just waiting uh, later on in the season? Uh, I'm going to wait later on in the season. I don't think my team requires a wild card. I've just u- I've just recently used the first wild card. So... Oh, really? Yeah. I you didn't think about getting... Uh, how are you planning on getting in a double, if not triple, Liverpool? I am tripling up in defence on Liverpool in 24. Oh, wow. I'm assuming TAA Van Dijk Robertson. Um, I think I'm going to have to go Gomez Can you that? instead of Robertson. Can't afford that. I've got two million in the bank right now. Yeah, of course. <laughs> so why why triple defence? 
uh, well, basically, before I wildcarded in game week 16, I had triple Liverpool defence. And as soon as I got rid of the triple Liverpool defence, they started keeping clean oh, sheets. Um, I interesting point that Ryan in 0605 makes with Traore is a main man also in that uh, Wolves squad. I think that is correct. I think a lot like the likes of Neves and Mar- uh, Mourinho, he said, Moutinho and Neves um, do look to pick out Traore quite a lot. If you watch the games, they do look for him a lot of the times, uh, especially in recent performances of the uh, Traore um, being a, kind of a, a key player. Um, penetrating uh, player in their team that can easily get in behind play um, uh, the opposition defenses i i think that um i think again like what i said with uh with davy traore is on on a, on an absolute another level to what he was at the start of the season or last season and um i i just think that um i think he could sprout into a into an fpl legend i really do He's, uh, it's he's just got, the fact that all the makings of it. It's just the fact that I think the the Watford Wolves game is going to be a tight game, and I've already got him in this as well. So doubling up with Wolves, I'm not too sure about that. I think away at Burnley, uh, Villa will be very. I mean, someone said in chat earlier on, who should I play, uh, Ryan or Pope? I think it was. Uh, was it Ryan? I think it was Ryan. Um, and I, I said. I said you've got to go with with Pope really. I think that Pope, um, I think Burnley will put put in a good performance, uh, at Villa, and I think that um, I, I think that Grealish will struggle to score against Burnley. That's just my my gut feeling. I did. I think I Stevo didn't I go with a was it a two one in that game? Oh, what's that? Sorry, the, yeah, the, you went um, in the, two the Burnley one, Villa two. game. Yeah, two one yeah. to Burnley. Yeah. So they, I, I did predict that, that Villa score, but it wouldn't. I wouldn't be surprised if they don't. But that's the thing. Whereas I do yeah. see, I do see, uh, Wolves scoring. I would, I would be surprised if Wolves don't score, um, in that fixture. So, and you'd like to think that even though you've got Jimenez, you would like to think that uh, on current form, Traore would probably have a say in that game. Do you think that um, Grealish could maybe be rested or? Is that like? Mm, no, I don't think he'll be rested. He is on penalties. I I see why you've done it. I really do. You you, I mean, you spreading your, you kind of spreading your options in in a sense. Um, but um, it is a dilemma. It's a dilemma. It's a dilemma that Davy had as well. Um, I just think for me, Traore pips it. But there are people in chat that have said go with Greenish. Um, yeah. So so you just go with your gut, mate. Go with your gut on that one. I, I think, think my my main worry this week is no less. No Leicester, yeah, yeah. Um, but I'm pretty set on having no Liverpool till 24, so I'm not too concerned about that. Well, let's hope they don't punish you. Got the right man in anyway. Alexander Arnold, he's been hauling. Um, but uh, yeah, but no. Um, in all, in all, I am thinking. I'm thinking to get um Aguero next week, like you yourself, Jason. Oh really? Uh, do the straight swap from Kane to Aguero, and yeah. and then do Ali to Madison. Uh, Anish, what's your thoughts about Pog- Paul Pogba not travelling? To, to be honest, I'm a bit, I'm a bit baffled by it because I think how how can he not be fit if he's played 50, half half a game mm. and then 50, 20 minutes in another game? I think surely something... that means that he's going to play 60 minutes. But I think it's more than just his fitness. Yeah, I think there's something going on behind the scenes that we don't know about necessarily. And there was and uh, Raiola just came out today and said that Pogba wants to play for a title winning <laughs> team. <laughs> uh, right, <laughs> and he anyway, wants to play for a team that's going to compete. Right. So. Well, well, we're competing for the top four, and there's a chance we can get into it. So, anyway, um, any final thoughts, Anish, on this um, on this uh, New Year's Eve? Um, not really as such. I'm just, I'm really, I'm quietly confident, but you never know. It's always, always when you're confident that you have a crap game week. <laughs> yeah, don't tell me about it. <laughs> Don't tell me about it. I was well confident last weekend and it all fell apart. Um, and then I had to endure um, just just constant um, well reminders of, of, of my of my ineptness. But thank you ever so much, Anish, for being on, on the stream Cheers, this evening. Thank you. Have a good New Year as well. Uh, Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Uh, Steve-O, we've um, gone past the two-hour mark as at the moment. Um, I think that's a good uh, moment to just do the admin and say thank you to everyone in chat. 
Yeah, absolutely. But before I go, uh, I've got a special announcement to make. Now, if you are a Playmaker member, you will be aware of this. But if not, I can exclusively reveal tomorrow. Now, I am going to be doing another Match of the Day challenge. Now, I'm not going to lie. I, I find them really, really boring. But uh, by popular demand, it appears that people do enjoy me doing the Match of the Day challenge. And because I've got Thursday off, I'll be more than happy to do it tomorrow evening. I can, I can avoid the football. It's not that difficult. And uh, I did... <laughs> I will me, say this you? though. Yeah, yeah you want um, I I right. Um I'll be honest with you. I would love to do it, but I'm going to be in a household tomorrow for for New Year's Day um lunch or brunch or whatever or afternoon and I know that I'm not going to be able to avoid the score. So I'm, I'd rather not do it and pretend because I'd have to pretend because there's no way I'm going to be able to avoid the scores. No way. Um because they're going to be they're going to be talking about it at dinner. So, yeah. yeah, I uh, I did put it out there that I did want to see if anybody from <laughs> I was surprised that I got no response at all. I, I did set a challenge to the members if any of them wanted to actually do it with me and then come live and with me. But unfortunately, no one got back to me. So, yeah, it's a bit annoying. But um, shall I whatever. try to hang on? What time are you going to do it? So when not match the day, the day half, half ten. Is that right? Yes. And the challenge is, of course, is that you're not allowed to throughout the whole day, not check even look at team, fantasy football. No, not allowed to check anything. So if I try to do this, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give it a go. All right. I'm going to try my best. Um, but Good. I'd love it. And I then, really would love and it. Then, yeah. And then I'm going to give it a go. I'm going to give it a go. No football tomorrow. Including fantasy football. That's including no the, fantasy the football. game updates. Nothing. Yeah. You can't check other people's teams, and that's the key to it. And yeah, yeah, like I said, ten thirty would be the time that I'm assuming match of the day is on, uh, because there are there is a late night kickoff with Man United Arsenal, mm. uh, Arsenal Man United, which starts at eight o'clock. So it would be a quick turnaround. So I'm just going to assume it starts at eight at ten thirty. I'm going to I'm going to try my best. I'm going to do it with you, Steve. What the heck? I'm going to give it a go. But let's be honest. Um, I th- and, and I'll be honest. If it's spoiled, I will let you know what 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 is spoiled before we go. Like, well, before we watch the match day, I'll just say that I know the I result. Of in this. fact, I'll tell you now. I wouldn't even want to know that it's been spoiled. I would just um, allow just silence, like I said. And I, uh, I I'm going to go with my earplugs tomorrow. Don't worry. And <laughs> um, uh, I've never done this before. I've never ever done it before. And um, this is going to be scary. It's 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 like I say. I find doing it really boring because you're just doing it on your own and there's nothing to talk about because you can't look at chat. But if I'm doing it with somebody, I can chat to that. In this case, you mm. about what's just happened. So it's going to make my life um, a lot more easier. Oh, man. Um, I'll be nervous, man. I'll be like a nervous wreck going into that stream tomorrow night, not knowing the, what's happening. The hardest thing for you is that if if you ca- if you well yeah if you're doing it, we're not going to be able to read chat. Avoiding chat and yeah, even gonna... when you start up the stream and everything. Oh no, because I can I can just minimize that. <laughs> ah, brilliant! I'll minimize brilliant. all the chat tabs. So so tomorrow, guys, at twenty past ten or ha- still, it'll be half past ten. Have... Yeah, half past ten tomorrow night, give or take a few minutes we'll be doing the match of the day challenge excellent and i am bricking it (laughs) okay the best thing about tomorrow is that there are nine games we're guaranteed to be captaining a player that day obviously arsenal at home to man united is a it is a huge game uh, well, I would say Burnley, Aston Villa. Just I, I couldn't care less about that, to be honest with you. Uh, Man City, Everton is going to be fascinating from your point of view with Sterling Aguero, and uh, yeah, <laughs> and also I may do some hits. You may do some oh. hits. Oh, you know, this is all. Uh... What before? Uh, the, what, when? When? What? Tomorrow? Yeah, what it's in like. Before, yeah, because we can. Obviously, we're allowed to go oh. on fantasy. For the game updates. <laughs> oh my god, no way! I I tell you what, I might. I'm so worried that I'm gonna forget to do this Pogba transfer. I'm just gonna do it now. I'm just gonna do it now because I I I know that if I get it in my mind that I need to just not do anything fancy football tomorrow, I'm just gonna do the transfer now. And for everybody watching this now, if you if you don't know, and I'll be shocked if there isn't, but there are people that are abroad. 
um, that don't actually know what match of the day is. Essentially, match of the day is just a highlights package of the Premier League uh, from any from every game week. But they choose which games are shown. It's it's got nothing to do with me and Jason. We're not specifically choosing. They do the highlights package themselves. Usually, what happens is they'll start with the most important game of the day. So probably tomorrow it be Arsenal Man U. But then after that. They go in chronological order with usually which game has the most goals. And the last game's usually 1 0, 0, 0, 1 1, just basically a low scoring game. Uh, so please, nobody in chat uh, complain that we're, let's just say for argument's sake, that, oh, I don't know, flaming, oh, I can't even think. But West Ham, um, no, that's a really bad pick. But say Man City, for example, got a nil-nil and they weren't shown till last and people are screaming at the screen. Why isn't Jason watching Matt? I don't know, whatever. It's completely out of our control. That's what makes it so special and uh, unique. Mm. Yeah, yeah. I, I think judging, cause judging by the chat and the replays and stuff, I think people just, they talk to each other in the chat anyway. Oh, and, absolutely. And yeah. they just wait for your reaction because they know what's going to happen. Thank you ever so much, guys, for being with us this evening. We've gone over over time a little bit. Uh, we, we've got, uh, well, I've certainly got agendas to, what well, agendas, uh, commitments I need to, to do this evening. It's the new year. Happy new year to everybody in chat. I hope you have a great evening. If you've already celebrated it, I hope you have a great morning for those of you in Australia, New Zealand, uh, Southeast Asia. And um, thank you. Thank you ever so much for being with us this evening on a day um, where you, let's be honest, could easily be with your family and friends. Um, Thank you. I'm not going to break it, Simeon. I'm not going to break this thing. I, I, if I say I'm going to do something, I'm going to do it. And but all all my effort will go into this tomorrow. I tell you now. Judge by my reaction tomorrow night. So yeah, not knowing the scores is going to kill me. Literally, I'm going to literally have to turn my phone off. Essentially. I, I'll tell you what I did, Jason. In all seriousness, Airplane I mode. just put. Yeah, there we are. Done. That's all I did. Yeah, uh, because I've got sofa score on my phone and everything like that, so it's all going to be buzzing off. So I'm going to. I'm unlike you. That's obviously you have family and everything. I don't, and I literally just I will be well, sleeping. I'll be with my right, the whole I'll day be with my family. So yeah, you yeah, yeah, need yeah. to. Um, but thank you ever so much. <laughs> and uh, right, take care. Speak tomorrow. Yeah. See you tomorrow, guys. All the best.